You might fall in love with me, cuz. Dang, man. You might look good as a girl, bro. I'm saying. No, See, you, you gay. Hey, yo, <laughs> shit is crazy, bro. I got good personality. You trying to sell me? I'm just, I'm just telling you what you what you I'm might just experience. Saying, you trying to sell me, bro? I got I was telling for, I got good personality. Uh-huh. I'm not ran through. I'm smart. I got two degrees. Uh-huh. I play sports. I'm athletic. Yeah, you trying to make me fall in love with you now? I'm yo. I'm trying to tell you <laughs> what to expect if you go into that universe. It's crazy. Nigga, I'm light skin. You trying to riz me up right now, bro? Light skin with curly hair, bro. It's hard. It's gonna be hard, bro. You trying to riz me up right I'm now? I'm trying to tell you what to expect. Not you good, bro? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, 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 what's good, everybody? I just want to take a break in the podcast to mention our sponsor for today's episode, Seat Geek. Shout out to Seat Geek for partnering with us to give you guys a special code, code no regulars at checkout. That is N O R E G U L A R S, all caps at checkout. We'll save you $20 on your first purchase with Seat Geek of over $50. Think about it, people. That's $20. This is a day and age where there's inflation everywhere. Seat Geek is the number one rated ticketing app on the market. They have over 70,000 events. They got sports. They have music festivals. They got concerts and many more. They have over 28 million downloads. 28 million downloads. Come on, people. Y'all think we scamming y'all? But if y'all afraid of the scammers, they have a rating system of how safe each ticket is from a 1 to 10. Because you know we don't like them scammers. So tune in to Seat Geek. Thank you again for sponsoring our podcast. Use code NOREGULARS at checkout to save you $20 on your first order of over $50 or more. That's N-O-R-E-G-U-L-A-R-S. Thank you again, Seat Geek. Now let's get back to the podcast. I'm not saying we get, we different than regular, regular. You know what I'm saying. Come on. Let's get back to the podcast. I'm sorry, people. We out. Yo, yo, yo. Welcome back to another episode of No Regulars Podcast, episode number. 146. Yes, sir. You got uh, it right. Did yeah. You, did you like look up? Nope, I didn't. Yo, I'm proud of you, bro. You came a long way. Like my brother, my co-host said, episode 146 of the No Regulars Podcast. I'm your host, DW, aka Darius. I got my co-host with me, KP, with, and with a the place to be. You know what I'm saying? With the Knicks jersey. We got the Knicks jersey. Anthony. <laughs> Ooh, look at you rhyming. Okay. Accidentally. <laughs> all right, now he's going overboard. But you know, we got a Knicks apparel for all my audio listeners. We got me and Corey got Knicks apparel on because it's been a great week. It's been a to great be week for us. We up. Yeah. We up right now. Nixon four, baby. Nixon, Nixon four. four we bro. sweeping Boston next year, bro. We want Boston. We, we would have beat Boston this year if we was healthy. But literally, but hey, look, now let's we not regroup. talking about it. Now we regroup. We but got we got all the Villanova squad. We still got my boy Julius Randle still that I, we, I appreciate. I that appreciate. We didn't do nothing. You. Yes. Drast. We, we might trade Mitch though. I'm fine with that. Me Tra- too. Trade him. We'll sign Hartenstein back. And we, we need, need, we need, we need, all you need is Hartenstein back. Not, because I feel like if you trade Mitch, then you we can sign. We got OG back. We got Mikel. Never miss games. He's going to miss a game this season. I know he is. You think so? Yeah, he's going to break a streak this season. We'll bro. see. We'll see. Tibbs. Tibbs going to push him to the max, bro. But, like, we got all these people. They literally got – they're nine deep, bro. Ted's gonna push him to the max, bro. We'll see, bro. We'll see. We'll see what the Knicks. Is. We're not gonna get too hyped because we Knicks fans. We know how we know how stuff goes. Yeah. Literally, the worst things happen to us. But I'm not gonna lie to you. This season, 30 year anniversary since we made it to the finals. 19. This is the best team we had in 30 years since the 1995s okay. with Patrick Ewing and them. Would you would you have rather Mikel or Dejounte Murray? <laughs> Mikel. You should, I would rather Dejounte. I'm not gonna lie. Because Mikel is better off ball. Yeah, Dejounte, we he, you already seen what he did with Trey Young. He can't, he's not really all. He has to have the ball. And yeah, we seen Mikel as a third option too. Mikel might be defensive player of the year this year. I don't know. I'm just guessing, but he yeah. might be in the race. You know, top. But uh, we seen him as a third option. Third option, he gets busy. Mm-hmm. First option, he, he don't get busy first. Exactly. Option. He, he's not. He might not even be the third. He might be like low key, like third, fourth. Who? Who? I mean, you never Brunson, know. Brandle. Who else is? I mean, you never know. OG might OG? just start going stupid. Nah, OG, OG, a corner merchant, bro. I know. OG just, OG's just gonna, he's just gonna be guarding and shooting threes. I just we need might have the best defense in the league, bro. OG, Mikel, Mikel, Hartenstein, Hartenstein. He be getting, he be getting fucked up though. We good though. And uh, Josh Hart and DiVincenzo. Exactly. We got. And then waves, we got, bro. we got, we got dudes. Only liabilities is our star players. Exactly, and they don't, they, they don't really need to guard too much when you got all these guys guarding. So we good, bro. People, the Knicks is up. But we're not going to talk too much Knicks about it because we're, we're not trying to jinx nothing. But if y'all new to the channel, subscribe, comment, post notifications. You know what I'm saying? To all my audio listeners, 
thank y'all for tuning in every week. But yes. all I ask is, you know, just give us a review. Give us either five stars. You can give us one star. No, actually, no, don't do that. For my audio listeners, it'd be hundreds of y'all that watches a week. We just ask that you give a review. If you don't want to, that's fine. You know what I'm saying? But thank y'all again for tuning in. Shout out to our sponsor, Seat Geek. For to or for sponsor our podcast, use code No Regulars at checkout if you're new to Seat Geek for twenty dollars off of any order fifty dollars or more. I just used it to buy tickets to a New York Liberty game for Libby and my family. So I'm telling you how it works, people. Use code No Regulars N O R E G U L A R S all caps for twenty dollars off. You know what I'm saying? But we got a lot of stuff to talk about this podcast. You seen Sabrina Anakanu? Who Onescu? Anakanu. It's not Anakanu. <laughs> Josh Hart called it Anakanu. <laughs> Anakanu? That's crazy. Why? What happened? No, nah, just saying. You see her? She she been killing, bro. Really? Is the Liberty even good this year? It should be. We'll see. We'll see. We're gonna talk a lot a lot about the. We talking. Corey wants to talk about the WNBA. Talk about Fulio. We R. got R. P. My nigga. R. P. Fulio. Well, not listen? my nigga. Fulio. Did, I about to say, did you listen to him like that? Not really. R. P. Fulio. Not R. P. Fulio though. Fulio. We go. I got some murder mysteries to talk about. I got some serial killer stories to talk about, and I got an urban legend. You guys haven't heard ever urban legends in a while, and we also got games to play. So, thank y'all again for tuning in. But first, we want to talk about Corey. You want to talk about Caitlin Clark and what you've been seeing lately? Bro? Yeah, man, they hating on her, bro. I think so too. I don't like that. Yeah, she. They said she's the first white woman to experience racism. <laughs> <laughs> yo, yo, they hating on Clayton Clark, bro. Even her teammates hating on her, bro. And like she don't even be doing nothing. She just hooping. She just hoop, bro. She don't talk. She don't do none of that. She just hoop, bro. That's what I'm saying. Like, I, yo, mean, I watched. I, yo, if I, I was. I seen that she had a lot of turnovers. I'm oh, like, yeah, I seen that. I'm like, why does she has like? I'm like, dang, she really coughing up the cheese like that. No. So I finally watched like four games. Mm-hmm. No, they're just dropping, dropping the passes, pass. bro. Dropping these do- gimmies. You know what I used to hate, bro. I I feel that pain because remember, remember when we was freshmen in college, and I used to I used to give uh, Dave them little scoop uh, passes. He'll drop it. And he would it's drop it. Turnover. And it would be mad. my fault. Coach Log used to get mad at me. He's like, "Dad, stop throwing Dave the pass." But it'd be a good pass. I can't really do nothing else. You just mm. can't catch it. Yeah. But that's really what it's yo. She diamond them, and but, they just but they be it. getting they be, they be getting uh, spoon fed here, and they just and like, they just Shh. dropping it, bro. They should change that. They, they should, should change that, that turnover. The turnover should be a big, bro. It shouldn't be the guard. Exactly, because that's not their fault. It's not. Yeah, it's not my fault. You can't catch. You know what I also don't like? I like, like, you know, I feel like a lot of the, they're kind of mad because Caitlin Clark is getting a lot of media attention that they mm-hmm. never really got before, but it's not her fault. Like It's she, not her, it's also, I think a lot of these, a lot of these WNBA players are mad that she's not black and yeah. that she's straight. Mm-hmm. And, uh, the, and the predominantly black in lgbq t- league yeah yeah uh white heterosexual is getting so much media attention and it's the reason why mm-hmm. that the WNBA will prosper mm-hmm. that they're like okay we, we we don't like this we re- like we want the face to be like angel reese you know we don't want the face to be clayton clark and i also because sabrina inescu got some of the same hate too her first couple of years yeah but she just I just feel like she's not the type of player like Caitlin Clark is. Caitlin Clark is actually like dribbling, doing all this stuff, shooting mm-hmm. from like half court. Like uh, Sabrina, she be shooting for threes, but it's not from like hell though. Yeah, she ain't shooting that thing from the logo. And I like you know, granted, right? Angel Reese always be talking about how like you know, like at the at the end of the day, bro, what does it even matter? Like, why does it matter who is break is like starting the revolution for a WNBA? It's, cra- it's so like it pisses me off, right? Yeah. Cause she finds a way to talk about like Clayton Clark whenever she gets the chance. Exactly. Clayton Clark has not responded once to That's you. what I'm saying, which I respect. And, sp- and and personally, I me personally, I believe that so because they came at the same class and they're they're together and revolutionized. Well, not together, but like you could say they're they're the class that's supposed to revolutionize WNBA basketball. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She should be on Caitlin Clark's side a little more. Mm-hmm. And the fact that every chance to hate. It just comes about. Yeah, she just does yeah. It. You're just hate. You're you're every chance you get, you hate on her. Mm-hmm. When she's literally the reason, you're like, bro. It, I, I I think she said somebody said there would be no Clayton. It would be no uh like Angel Reese is the reason Caitlyn Clark is relevant, bro. It would be no Caitlyn Clark. It would be no Angel Reese if it wasn't for Caitlyn Clark. I'm saying last year in the freaking final four, we only know you because you did all the ignorance stuff, bro. That's, That's the only what I'm saying. We know you if you just hooped and being quiet. Not really known you too much. You feel me? Like you, you, you put up numbers, but mm-hmm. like we know you because you the you the person that was ignorant. Exactly. You feel me? So 
I just don't. I don't, and I don't like the antics either. All the hard fouls, which I get it. Get rookie bumps. Yeah. But I'm not for. Real, I'm not even mad at the hard fouls. Mm-hmm. That's where I get mad at in uh, at Clayton Clark's teammates for not sticking up for her. You're you're not. You think if I played right? Yeah. And you fouled Tyler Tyler Ofray Chase Barney's hard. Yeah. You think I'm gonna let you? That's what I'm saying. You, you think you're gonna come to the paint next play? And not get and not get squashed. Like you see when she got bumped and they just looked at they her. They just looked at her, bro. Yeah, bro what do you, you don't help who, her. Who, wait, first, d- first of all, who's gonna push the girl that bumped her? Exactly. They just let her do that. That's crazy. Like this is supposed to be your team. It's cool. I right, look. If I don't push you now, go, don't worry about it. The next screen, I'm gonna knock you on your ass. I'm taking the next foul. It's just, huh, In I, high school, when I used to play for Teaneck, bro. Yeah. Anybody touch Jaw Dre? I, I promise you, bro. Next play, they I got I got I got, I got a foul, bro. How many times you watch the Bad Boys documentary? The oh, like the Pistons. Yeah, I only watched it once. Before, like, <laughs> fucking what? That's <laughs> no. I like the attitude though. Rock Creek basketball, bro. It's, it's, it's not Bad Boys. It's Rock Creek basketball, bro. This is how it's supposed to be, though. You're bro, supposed to stick up for your people. There's no way that you fouled my man. I'm not gonna lie. It was only one time in high school where. Somebody fouled my point guard hard, and I ain't sick up for it. Was a big dude? <laughs> nah, it was my friend. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> so, like wait, wait, he used to go to Teaneck, and he oh. transferred to 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 a different school. Oh. But he was still my boy, and then our point he got to it with my point guard. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> Oh, y'all fighting? <laughs> What's going on, yo? <laughs> hey, yo, that's when that's when Cuz didn't realize what was going on. He was, was like, he just trying to, oh, no, never mind. What's going on? But but, <laughs> but like you said though, it's like you know. She's out here by herself. It feels like she's out here doing like she's dolo. Not even her teammates mm-hmm. are sticking up for her. Maybe, maybe like, like you know when she's when she's when she's down on herself. That that girl, I forgot, like Asia Boston, whatever her name is. She uh, kind of talked Boston, to her. Leah uh-huh. Boston. She talked to her. That's cool. But like at the end of the day, right? Jordan got the same treatment with the bad boys. He was getting mm-hmm. knocked down. He was all that stuff, down, but yeah. he had his teammates. The teammates had his back still. Mm-hmm. But like it's like why? Why I don't know why they hate on her so much. Like there's no re. Like of course. Maybe she's getting a lot of attention. Yeah, man. But I also feel like that's just how women are. Yeah, I'm about to say that's just how. Like, can you think about it? Look at the NBA, bro. Mm-hmm. Wimby coming into the league, ain't nobody like now. Nah, Wimby, Wimby gonna get a hard lesson. He he. Oh, Wimby, Wimby gonna learn. Yeah, like nobody. Like, no, nah, they be like, oh yo, Wimby's a like. Everybody's commending, like praising yeah. him up. Like, oh yeah, he's gonna be extremely talented in this league. Yeah. Zion, when he when he first came into the league and he had all the hype around him, nobody was like, oh. Zion's gonna be trash. No, yeah, Zion gonna have a Zion, Zion got a rude awakening. Oh, they about to be against grown men. Everybody's welcoming him. Talent like the OGs, mm-hmm. the OGs in the NBA they and the vets. It. They welcome young talent. Mm-hmm. They don't be like, oh yeah, they ain't gonna come up with a rude awakening. No, they, nobody does that. But Sad. these WNBA women literally resort to hating. Like, oh yeah, she's. Did she didn't seen, even get into the league yet, and they started. Yeah, hating oh, her. I, 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 I'm Diana's, taking. I take yeah, Tarasi, bro. Yeah, I'm taking uh. Page number one, she's the best player in college basketball right now. Now you know that's a fucking lie, bro. <laughs> like, Kelsey Plum, nah, she's not a, she's not gonna be one of the all time, she's not gonna be the all time great because she don't have a chip. Like that's a crazy, like why? She though? broke every record, bro. Literally, and boys and girls, every record, and I didn't have a had the had a bad team, bro. And she didn't even finish college, like she didn't even. She play, had one more year left. Had one more year left. Imagine if she would have stayed. Even with Cheryl Swoops, bro. Cheryl Swoops went on, and I'm and I'm I'm more mad at because. Like Gilbert Arenas and the rest of the people there, because you're supposed to correct that. Yeah. She went on there and just blatantly lied, hated and lied. <laughs> said that Caitlin Clark did it in less and in, in more time, uh-huh. which she didn't. Mm-hmm. She did it in less time. Actually, she had the COVID year too. But no, she didn't have a. She had four. She played four years. She didn't play. She didn't play. Her oh, COVID she did. Year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She didn't yeah. Play, but she said she had a COVID year. She said she was. She's old. She did it. She was twenty five playing against eighteen year olds. She was twenty two or twenty one at the time. Wow. She, said she, she said that she did it. In, she did it in more time. She did it in less games than Kelsey Plum or whoever had yeah. the record. And she said something else that was just like, "Why are you doing you, that? You just lied." And no one corrected you. It's just you know, I you know who's sticking up for her? a lot of the guys are sticking up for her. A lot of the guys are Braun, but like I don't you don't come you can't come on this platform and just lie like Yeah, lying is crazy. Like, come on, like first of all, Gilbert Arenas, Gilbert Arenas or 
or uh, anybody else on that podcast supposed to pick up like, wait, actually. That nah, don't make no sense. She actually is 22. She's not 25. Yeah, that's crazy. Yo, actually, she did it in less games. Mm-hmm. Yo, actually, she didn't play five, she didn't play five years. She only played four. Loki, they might have not known, though. Like You were granted, supposed to know that if you're talking about her. That is true. That is true. If you're true. talking about her, you're supposed to know that. Yeah, I know what you mean. So. I don't know. I just feel bad because it's like. And she's getting f- fucked up. Up, bro. She's getting fouled, bro. but they don't know. They they creating a demon, bro. Oh yeah, the, her getting on team, not being on team USA. They creating a demon. Y'all don't know. Y'all are messed y'all up. Dumb. Y'all, it's gonna be even worse for y'all. Are y'all stupid? Because when she start really getting used to it, because right now she's a little like like you know this is just a grace period, like you know this like you know developing. She's trying to get like learn the game who, and stuff. Who is marketing the WNBA? I don't know. Marketability. Why wouldn't you put the the biggest name on the in the WNBA right now? On the team. Literally, that's all you got to do. She don't even got to freaking play. She, don't, she gotta... don't even have to play, bro. Like, literally. And it's like, people are saying, like, nah, this is her first year, bro. Diana Taurasi, Candace Parker, they first year was on the thing. Brittany Griner, they first year was on there. Mm-hmm. So, what's the problem? Supposed to put the biggest, whatever. All right, put the put the 14 best players yeah. on, on, the, on, the, on the floor. And put the 15th players, the biggest face in it. Like, what are you dumb, bro? Like they don't. How you not mark? You're not marketing your league right. Exactly. Because and then God forbid if Caitlin Cars gets hurt next game, bro. They're not watching nothing. N- everything that 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 she is providing is, is done. No one's watching the WNBA no they more. They lucky that she didn't go to the big three, bro. She should. Sure, she might have should have. Jeff Teagan, they're killing. I know. He's going stupid. You know, you know they're going to be in Newark this weekend? I know, yeah. I might buy tickets. Tradition Center, yeah, I ain't going. Really? Take a video for me. I might. <laughs> I, I just because I, th- I feel like it'll be tough. I think it'll be cool. It might be tough. Yeah. See Briscoe go crazy. But I love Briscoe. I, Briscoe. <laughs> but I'm you were, you were, y'all wasn't there, bro. Y'all wasn't there for Briscoe. Y'all wasn't yeah. there for prime high school Briscoe. Yo, you know what I'm saying? People really don't remember. Like, New Jersey talent really doesn't make it far. Mm-mm. It's so bad. <laughs> Kyrie really the only only person, bro. He's the only one that really made it out for real. But he wasn't like born in Jersey. We talking about born in Jersey. He was born in Australia, came over here, which is still counts. But I'm talking about Tim he, Thomas ain't make it far. Tim Thomas, Briscoe ain't make it far. Freak, there's a dude that just he got signed to the Brooklyn Nets. He used to play at the Boys and Girls Club around here. Uh, Mark An- Mark Mark Armstrong he used to play at Villanova. He went to St. Peter's, and he used to play at the Boys and Girls Club at Union. And I don't remember him, but my cousins remember him. And I don't remember because and I heard that like, he played at Villanova, and I, I think he just went undrafted. Freaking what's his name from Newark? Derek Whitehead. Oh, I know Derek Whitehead. Yeah. What yeah. he doing, bro? Come on, bro. As soon as he about to get into the league, he get hurt. That's crazy. Is he going to play? Kyle Anderson, like, well, I don't know. I mean, no, Kyle Anderson. He has a good career, but he has like, a good he, career. Ain't, he ain't. He ain't. One Live of them. up, yeah, you because he me? was the number two prospect. Mm-hmm. Like we be having people, we be having the hoopers in high school, but it just low key New York falling off, bro. Oh yeah, y'all falling off. Who, 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 who? Nice from New York, bro. There's not really a lot after that Jelly Fan wave went away, bro. It's just yeah, no, it's just, I know. I'm not gonna lie. I don't know. I can't name you no hitters from New York. I also don't pay attention to high school basketball, but I mean, there's one dude from New York. His name like Ian Jackson. He going to UNC. I think that's, that's the only person, bro. Everybody else, I don't really know for real. That's the only even person. in the league, I don't even know. Like who who in the league from New York for real? Like Jose? actually, that's the only one. Like I like from the city, New York. Yeah, not from like upstate. Not from Syracuse or something yeah, weird. Nah. Like nah, New York City, Bronx, Brooklyn, nah, Queens. Nobody, but that's crazy. Maybe there's probably like, some more people that we just sleeping on. But the like, only people I think is like Jose, Lance, Lance Stevenson. But he's that's that. why he's not in the thing no more. Um, I can't even think of nobody. Jose's the only person. Hami, but he, I don't even know if Hami on the team still. I don't think so. He probably just freaking Moses. Is Moses on the team still though? Moses who? Moses Moses Brown. No, I doubt it. I think he's in the G League. Uh, I think that's it. I really don't. Mo Bamba, but I mean, there's a he's couple from Harlem, but is he like he in the, he in a team, but he ain't playing. He's not nice though. You know what it is? A lot of the guys is coming from Europe, bro. Most of the talent is either Europeans or mm-hmm. like. It's like spread out around America. Like it's not like in our area. It's like either south or like Cali and stuff. Cali, they got a lot of good basketball players going to Cali. Not gonna lie, they always had good basketball players going to Cali though. But it's actually growing a lot more now. But I don't know. And I was talking about with the WNBA, bro. Freaking, I remember I was talking to you about in the car that that one girl from China that's like Mm -hmm. seven three, bro, bro. That girl, if she comes to the WNBA, bro, if she can stay healthy, bro, she's like she's seven, she's seven three, and she's a girl, bro, and she's fifteen, she's gonna. you know, did I was was that you who I was talking about on the podcast where I said China is creating like mm-hmm. people to like Liao Ming? Yeah, you, 
look at this, bro. There's no way that's not an experiment, cuz. Especially because Chinese people are typically short. Bro, she averaging 45 and 15. If she can stay healthy, bro. There's no way, bro. That's an experiment. First of all, she might. That's it might not, not. It might not benefit her to come to the WNBA. She might get more traction wherever she at she or might, overseas. But like you know, they're gonna probably like they're already hyping her up now. Uh -huh. So like they might do it just like as a Yao Ming thing. Yeah. But like I'm just saying, how is like how is that even physically possible? Like there has to be something up. They definitely either created that or she Joanna man. They, hey, yo. I don't know about <laughs> it's Joanna man, but that's crazy though. My thing is if they creating that though, like why why isn't there more? I mean, it would be sus if it was more. Either sus or it never panned out correctly. Uh huh. Because I like I don't think they're literally like putting them in test tubes, but I think mm -hmm. they're like, oh, you're you're a tall woman, you're a tall man, you guys make kids. Uh huh. I think that's what they're really doing. Like all the you know because a lot of Chinese people they're either really short or really tall. Like they're yeah. not they're not rarely in the middle. Like they're not like maybe a couple might be like five ten five mm -hmm. six foot, but they're usually like tall or really short. Mm -hmm. So I feel like the tall ones are the ones that were like, you know, got through the experiment and they're trying to like breed to make them even bigger. Yeah. Because it makes no sense. I remember like it's just seven, three women. That's ridiculous. That's ridiculous. Like, like I said, if she can stay healthy, she's going to be really good. Yeah, just yeah. Just off the fact that like women are like, no one's going to like. No one's messing with that. That's what I'm saying. Like in, it's nobody in the WWE that's going to dunk I, on her or jump over her. I, I wonder if she can. No, nah, she definitely can't dunk. She's seven three, bro. She has to. She has to be. Bro, able to she dunk. land on. She like she land the wrong way. Her knees done, bro. She has to. I mean, I didn't say she probably don't dunk. Yeah, but she she, probably, she has to. She probably dunk without jumping. I gotta see that, bro. She not. I ain't gonna lie. Like no funny shit. Like she probably not living long. Okay, that's, that's fucked up to say. That's but, the, but yeah, like you ain't wrong. Bro. I, mean, you ain't but I, didn't, say I didn't mean to say it, but like I was just saying, like in general, because that's like giants don't live long. You're right. That's yeah, yeah, damn, you gotta say it. I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just, yo, imagine play. All right, you garner her. How many buckets she getting? She's seven three. Seven three. She's tall. still a girl. She's still a fifteen year old girl though. Yeah, I know. So you think you body her up? Yeah, but like I feel like as a grown woman though, she gonna get me. <laughs> she, like, will she get like 20, 21 I, like, Maybe Damn. eight, not nah, even 18, 19 she, she got me bro Damn She's a 15 year old girl bro. I wonder why she started growing I probably could just push her out the paint Yeah probably Like just manhandle it Yeah like come on bro Makes sense <laughs> But like I'm wondering like When did she start like Like when she was like 12 She was probably like 6'6 six, six, six. She probably had to be like I'm gonna say 6'6, six, 6'8 six, six, Oh my gosh Her body must be hurting bro like, like after growing, games, them growing pains. Oh my god, that must hurt so bad, bro. Like her knees probably hurt, her back yeah. probably hurt after games, bro. I could just imagine that. And like I, th I think I seen the, I seen the world's the, the um, I think they they tested out the world's tallest man. There's like a new one. Mm -hmm. Dude's like nine foot, like nine. I don't want to be that tall. That's what I'm saying. Bro. Nine feet, bro. They said like, he's so tall he can't even like, like walk because like he has like that disease like gigantism whatever Marfan it's called Marfan system. Marfan system. yeah he has that disease so like the big man disease mm -hmm. so they said um he has to like he's trying to raise money to get surgery to like fix something in his brain I'm gonna say well, so get, can, get shorter <laughs> nah so he can like cause he has something like he he's still growing so he's trying to like get brain surgery so he can like I guess like take that thing out so he stop can like growing. stop growing but like imagine nine feet bro I wouldn't want to be that. I'll kill myself, bro. I don't want to be that tall. Like, that's just like, that's like a. a unless, I'm, unless I could be nine feet and like. Agile? Act, if active. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I can't be nine. Okay, that means I'm, I'm going to be the goat, bro. <laughs> there's there's I, a kid that's like seven foot nine. If you nine feet, that's the. You you one inch shorter than the rim, bro. That's what I'm saying. Like, you literally just standing there like this, you probably could touch almost. You could probably grab the top of the backboard if you could jump. Yeah, I wouldn't want to be that tall. But I don't think he could jump. I wouldn't want to be that tall. I think there's a kid in like he's about to go to college. He went to like lived in. I think he's going to University of Florida. He's seven foot nine. He can't be like good. I mean, he's good enough to play like in college. Like he's like, he's he's like how Zach Eady was. Like he mm. like he's a little. He's he yeah. can't be seven nine. No, he's bro. He's big as hell. Like seven seven, bro. That's so deep. He's like, he, he, I think he's like he's from like Canada or something. White boy. Seven 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 nine, bro. He can't like move good. It's like there's no way. Nah, he's moving like Zach Eady, bro. Like and like you know Zach Eady doesn't move like too bad for a seven foot mm -hmm. five. Zach Eady's huge too. That dude's like seven five, three hundred, and he don't move like people say he's slow footed. He moves pretty like you gotta realize seven five is tall. DJ Burns busts his ass. I know, but they still lost though. They lost a, a different team. No, they lost a they lost a Zach Eady. 
I no, think. they beat no, no. Zach Eady. No, they didn't. You they sure? lo- they lost the they 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 lost to Zach Eady in the final four. Nah. He still gave him like twenty. I think that because it was Alabama versus UConn and it was NC State versus Purdue and Purdue and UConn were in the final the last two. Mm. But Zach Eady, bro, that's what I'm saying. I be wanting to be tall, but like not too tall, cuz. Get back there. What are you doing? Sorry, people. There's a dog that wanted to jump on my lap and I had to tell him to retreat. But nah, bro. There's just certain things, bro. Like tall height is cool, but when you're too tall, that's when you're just like, you know what? This is just too much. It's not even worth it no more, bro. Yeah, nah, that's so deep. Freedom, bro. But you want to get into the draft, bro? Yeah, let's get are you into ready? The draft, yeah. So people, we me and Corey are doing a five on five basketball draft with video game characters. Mm. So we're gonna go. I, we're gonna draft point guard, shooting guard, small for all that stuff, and we're gonna argue who has the better team and who will win in a, a five on five basketball game. So, would you like to go first? Yeah. So, my first pick is my point guard. Oh, you could just go from point guard all the way to center. Just okay. Yeah, my my point guard. I guess I want somebody. He's a leader. And he's been through a lot, mm-hmm. and he knows how to navigate through tough times. I'm going Joel from The Last of Us. He survived an apocalypse for years, bro. He's been through trauma. He lost his daughter mm-hmm. and his wife. I'm gonna cook this guy. Yeah, I picked a human. I already know he didn't, he probably has no more human. He probably has no humans on his. I life. got some humans, but I you picked can go a human. Ahead. But you feel me? And like I said, he's a leader, bro. I need my point. I need my point guard to be a leader. I know how to facilitate and navigate, bro. That's mm-hmm. my point guard, Joel from The Last of Us. Okay, what's your, who's your shooting guard? Although you're not going back and forth. No, no, I'm gonna let you go first. Oh, uh, okay. And then I'm gonna say mine's afterwards. My shooting guard is uh Scorpion from uh Mortal Kombat. I just need an aggressive I need an aggressive killer, bro. Like feel me? Or like like I said, Oh, you I'm need a, a dog. Bro. Yeah, I need a dog, bro. I need a dog, bro. That 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 gets down to it, bro. Okay. And Scorpion, he gets down to it, bro. Like, okay, okay. Me? Somehow he always ends up on top in Mortal Kombat, bro. That somehow, is... somehow. So he's got always gonna find a way yeah, to win. Yeah, always gonna find a way to win, but he got that dog in him for real. Okay, all right. My my number three my number three, I need a facilitator. I need a brawn. I need a brawn type player. Actually, uh-huh. I'm going Kratos from God of War, bro. <laughs> okay, he's good at everything. Okay, he takes down gods. He's he feel me facilitate. He, he got his son. He facilitates. He mm-hmm. he's in the game with his son now, bro. Okay, he been along so he been around <laughs> so long. He got his son in the game, bro. Okay, All I right. need somebody that's gonna just hold me down and be the great be a great great team player, a great facilitator. There we go. I'm going Kratos. Kratos from that one. All right, I like that. I like that. My number four. I just need another. I need a. I just need a lengthy, a, a lengthy, uh, lengthy four forward man. that that can get the job done. Block shots, run the floor, score. I'm gonna go Slenderman, bro. Is Slender Slenderman has a video game? Yeah, it's called Slenderman. Wow. Okay. I let I let that slide. I let that slide. We, we, we doing P, like you know what, PC no, games no, don't count. No, you're right. You said you're right. video games. That is a video game. That is a video game. PC game, game don't count now. Come no, on, that man. does. That does. I'm going. I'm going. I'm, I'm going. Slender Man, bro. Okay. He's a he's a he's an enforcer. He attacks. He attack. He attacks hard. When he attacks, he attacks hard. <laughs> and you feel me? And he's fast. He gets the job done. Yeah. So, and then at my at my center, I just need a bruiser, bro. I need a, I just need a big guy that that could bang down low. And like and and rough some feathers, man. I need a, I need a, I need a real enforcer. I need a bully. Who you I'm got? I'm going browser, man. Okay, all right. I like that. I like that. I like that. Now let me tell y'all the winning team, right? So at my point guard, speed is the game. You know what I'm saying? And in modern NBA, it's about running and gunning. Who can score the most points? So why not pick one of the fastest video game characters alive? Sonic. Exactly. I got point guard. I got Sonic. You know what I'm saying? Sonic don't have to facilitate, bro. Don't worry. We don't need that. Because on the like, I got I stole this from Tyrone on the fast break, mm-hmm. it's over. But now, at my two, I got one of the most iconic, one of the most greatest leaders. He can fix anything. He can do it. He can do anything. Master Chief. No, oh. I have Mario at my two. I mean, I got you know what I'm saying. Up, my bro. man Mario, he can facilitate. He can do. He's literally an all around player. Yeah. I... He literally, his girl was being. Freaking held captive by Bowser. He was like, nah, I got that dog in me. He got his girl back. I need people like Bowser, that on my team. Mario like 5'3", bro, 5'2". Don't worry. I don't need... We got, a sh- we got a short backcourt, but they quick because the people I have up front... You got a is, bunch of old boykins over here, man. Don't worry, bro, because <laughs> now I got my small forward. I need somebody 
who could lock down defender. He's a bruiser. He's strong. He could take it to the rack. I need slashes. I got Ryu from Street Fighter. Mm-hmm. I got Straight. God of War. Right? God of War's cooking him. Nah, that, I, I, I ain't even worried about that. God of War, he can't Kratos, even hoop. For, Kratos can't even hoop for real. I got Kratos, bro. Kratos is a warrior. He don't hoop, bro. Ryu, he's a boxer, but you know boxers could you know translate to play basketball. You know what I'm saying? Same thing. Mm-hmm. At my four, I have Master Chief. Oh, I knew you had him in there. Because what you didn't know is, or what I didn't realize, Master Chief's seven foot. Master Chief seven, seven foot. foot. He is a super soldier, so he got the speed, agility, strength. He is literally a point forward. He's gonna be able to do everything. I right, well, I gotta make a switch then, bro. God of War guarded him. It's, it's all guarding. good. And then at my five, like he said, he got a bruiser and Bowser. I got my bruiser. I got Donkey Kong because he got the bounce. Mm. Bowser don't mm. really jump. He like picked that. the monkey. Yes. I picked the big monkey to jump and dunk. Play the Uncle Uncle Ruckus theme music, bro. (laughs) (laughs) But I'm saying, I got literally, my team is literally defense and fast breaks. No, I like my team better than than your team. You got a lot of flimsy dudes like Slenderman. What the hell, Slenderman? First of all, my only liability is Joel because he's human. Exactly. (laughs) That's what I'm saying. We're going to pick on him. No, Sonic, he's not. He's a like I say. He's a great. He's a he's a mind, bro. He's a mind, but he's a human being and gets freaking like mystical Man, characters. He's not. No, he's not a liability, bro. He's just. He's not guarding Sonic. There's no. Who's he gonna guard on my team? Master, he to, can't even guard Mario. Oh, hold on. There we perfect. He's guarding Mario. No, he's not making that switch. He guards Mario. You act like Mario can't eat a mushroom. He goes. He goes a seven feet tall. He does, he, no, he doesn't. He goes. He, he could jump. All he do is jump higher, bro. No, 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 no. Nah. The, the growing mushroom. You oh. know what I'm talking about. All right, bro. We're not playing no what games no mushrooms, bro. He got, that's what he got in his nah, pack, bro. Not, we, I got. I got. I got Joel and Mario. Joel's locking that shit up, bro. Mario. Not, bro. Mario's like five one five. Not even. And then I'm gonna make that switch. Scorpion's guarding Sonic. Mm. We got uh, he going keep he, he go, Sonic he not gonna keep up with him, but we be good though. I'm not even, I'm looking down. What am I looking at? He gonna keep <laughs> up with him, bro. But he gonna be good though. He's gonna be good. Uh-huh. He's he's too fast for him. But Sonic can't guard Scorpion either, so we good. And then he's stealing that ball all the and time. Then who's your three? Ryu from from a uh, Mortal Kombat. No, not Mortal Kombat. Street Fighter. See, I might have to just keep. I might have to keep Kratos on him. You could create whatever. There's mixed matches all over the place, bro. And then, and then Master Chief is gonna Master Chief have to carry the game. That's all it is, bro. Master Chief because probably he probably gonna body Slenderman up because Slenderman like it's KD. Skinny. But you feel me, KD? KD beat Braun twice in the finals, bro. Because <laughs> he had Steph and Clay. All right, I got I got God of War, bro. What, he don't hoop. He ain't he nice. Ho- like, nah, he, he ain't a hooper, nice bro. like that, bro. He a dog. And then I got I got Scorpion. He's a dog. What are you doing over here, bro? What are you doing? Walk. Hey. Dog, go over there. He heard. He heard. The, he heard. The dogs is on this side. Yeah, nah, <laughs> the bro. dog. The dog knew the dogs is on this side. And then I think Browser, Browser, and uh, and Donkey Kong. They kind of cancel each other out. Nah, cause Donkey Kong he got, got bounced. bounced. But yes. Yeah, but he got bounced. But I got. I got. I got muscle, bro. Nah, that muscle's not gonna do nothing with the bounce, bro. Nah, bro, literally, Donkey Kong up. is protecting that rim, bro. Dude, Dwight Howard, I'm Shaq, bro. Nah, like, I think it's I think it's the other way. I think I'm I think I'm like Donkey Kong Shaq, is Shaq, you don't got Shaq and bro. Bowser is more like a a drill Sadrinus out. No, he's not. No, he's not. No, he's not. As a Sadrinus out because no. no. he don't really. He's not really he's not. mobile. He like a uh-uh. he like a maybe no. like a um. He's Shaq, bro. What's what's Sabonis's father's name? He's like Sabonis' nah, father. He's he like Shaq, that, bro. He's Shaq. He's or he not, or he Joel and B, bro. Like. I got a, I got a, maybe a jo- I could, I'll take and Joel Embiid, like, but I got Shaq. I got Prime Shaq. With you don't the got Prime Shaq. What you mean? Bro? You don't got Prime Shaq. You got like Dwight. Donkey Kong, Monkey Duncan, no, everything. You got like Dwight. Maybe you, maybe you got like uh, Alonzo Morning. Nah, nah, don't ever dis- disrespect Donkey Kong. Call him Alonzo Morning, bro. You, you Alonzo Morning, six foot nine. You got Dwight, bro. You got Dwight. Bro. Don't ever disrespect Alonzo or Donkey Kong ever again, bro. You 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 might got Ben Wallace. Nah, you bro. crazy. But How you tall is Donkey Kong, bro? You don't got you don't you don't got uh how tall is Donkey Kong, bro? Let me see. Cause I know Bowser's like nine feet. Donkey Kong is seven foot ten. I got seven foot seven ten. Let's see Bowser height. I don't think Bowser's nine feet. Let's see. He is how big is Bat ba- he's ten foot two. Oh. Yeah, I'm cooking you, bro. Bro, but I got two seven foot like it's like oh damn. All right, nah, you're not cooking me though. I'm cooking you. Yo, bro. let me know in the comments who you think won, bro. I got, a, I got a, I got a, I got a ten foot bruiser. Mm-hmm. I got a, I got a, I got a, I got a 
I don't even know how long how tall Slenderman is. I got a whatever another ten foot a slasher, bro. Let me see how tall Kratos with, with, is. What is with speed? Kratos, Kratos is like six six. He's six four. There we go. But and he played like he's six six though. Let's see Slenderman. Let's see how tall you think Slenderman is. Like nine, maybe nine something. It's a six to fifteen feet tall. We're gonna say six. No, you're not, <laughs> going, you're not going to go to the lowest. Let's go in the middle. 12. He like 10, bro. All right, we do 12. He like 12 10. feet. So I got a 12 feet sniper. Like, from he's literally KD. And then I got, uh, I don't. I think Scorpion is short. But he a dog, though. I don't care how short he is. He a dog. Yeah, and then Joel, Joel's like 6'4". Is he really? I don't know. I'm I made that up. Man, just cap. I made see. that up. Joel from Last of Us. Oh, wait. Did you um? Did you watch the show Last of Us? Mm-hmm. Did I you like it? it? Yeah, it's like, a show. Was it as? Oh, he's, it, it says he's five ten. That's fine. I'm cool with that. Getting cooked. Was Chris, it Chris Paul? <laughs> he don't even hoop for real. That guy. That guy got PTSD trauma. He not gonna want to hoop. He a, nah, bro. He a hooper, but he been he been through the through the storm, and he like he just a vet in the game right now. Cause he didn't even make it out the storm, bro. He did make it out the storm. No, he didn't save his daughter. Do your homework. He he made it out himself. <laughs> <laughs> so do you you like the show? And yeah, would like you would you rate the show? Uh, if you play the game, it's a ten, bro. Like, uh, they, they, it's they, like really. Yeah, it's, a, it's they, they did a good job of balancing the game in the show. They did uh, a really good job. Okay. Did you watch the the new uh, boys season? The boys. I only watched one episode. If you fin if you watch the other episodes out, don't talk about it. Are you gonna watch it? Yeah, I'm gonna watch it. Like wait, of like the first episode of the the new season. Oh, okay. I did watch. I watched like the first episode thoroughly, but the rest it was like went through. So I gotta rewatch it again. Oh, okay. Yeah. Because the boys came out like what a year ago, and I freaking for like what, the, the, the the last season or it came out like what two years ago? Like, maybe? Two years ago. So like I I really like kind of forgot. Especially nah, maybe last year. I no, that was Gen V that came out last year though. I feel like it was like a year difference. No, I don't think it was that long. Because all I remember that happened in the last season was when they freaking killed the uh, soldier boy. Oh, thank kill him. Or um, you know what they do they, they they beat him and they put him back in the whatever he was in yeah they but, killed my nigga Black and War bro yeah I know bro I was, like that's what I'm saying but uh, I'm a I gotta finish watching I gotta I gotta literally sit down and like focus and watch yeah, it I gotta because you know I have freaking so bad of like uh what's that called uh attention span. yeah my attention span is so bad bro I gotta I gotta chill out bro but you got anything else you want to talk about you want to talk about the Fulio thing bro that what happened oh yeah 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 R I P Fulio but. You reap what you sow, bro. Why you say that? This nigga went to a nigga grave site, dissed the nigga, and shot a music video on his grave, bro. I seen that. That's crazy. But like, that's OD, bro. You know what it is, that's bro. That's OD, bro. What? That's like the same thing as like what's his name, FBG Duck. That's different though. That's the cult. I mean, as unfortunate as it is, that's the culture, bro. Nigga, and especially in Chicago. You niggas got, diss dead niggas. They they diss the same seven niggas. Each yeah. each side diss the same seven niggas. But bro. he went overboard. No, I and mean, we didn't, bro. Uh, fuck them dead bitches, bro. You feel me? But he he ain't go overboard. He just he did, he did go overboard. Yeah. But like, not really though. Like niggas on the, on the on the other side doing the same thing, bro. They diss the same. Are you the talking same about FBG? I'm, I'm talking about FBG. I'm talking about Fulio. Oh yeah, Fulio went overboard. Okay. He went to the nigga grave. Yeah. Made a blanket of the new of the ABC or whatever news report. Yeah. With the three niggas that died. One of them is his brother. Mm-hmm. One of them is his little brother that just graduated. Wow. Eight, eight young and ace, little brother that just graduated. Mm-hmm. Other one is two, two, three. That's when he was like, he died on his birthday. Two shots, three dead in the worst way. And then an, I don't know the third person that died. Yeah, you made a you made a whole blank. You got a blanket made. Went to bro grave and made a diss record about about that on his grave. Bro. Now I'm on a, a music video. So now, right? I'm wondering, do you think he did that? Like he did all that work to blow up, as in like, oh, this is gonna be mad exposure, and I'm and I'm dissing the. The ops at the same time. Yeah, they, I mean, probably. I or, don't. I don't even know if it. If it was. I just want to be as disrespectful as I as I can. That's what I'm thinking. Like, and is that it? and and if it blows up, it, I think it's just that. I think it, I just want to be as disrespectful as I can. Really. And if it blows up, it blows up. I don't think his attention was like, yo. I'm a, I'm gonna post this and I'm gonna get rich off this. Uh, I think it was. I'm gonna just be as disrespectful as I can be. I think. And it blew. Up, it just ended up blowing up. How, how? First of all, how disrespectful it was. I feel like. 
he did it. He he wanted to be as disrespectful as he could possibly be, but at the same time, he wanted to make bread off of it to a point because the, he, you, he's already up. Mm-hmm. So whatever he does, like disrespectful wise, is going to be put on worse or whatever. So if you put it to the max like that, because you got to really put time and think about this yeah. to do something like that. Mm-hmm. Nobody just thinks about putting it on a blanket and pulling up, maybe pulling up to his gravesite, but nobody thinks about putting it on a blanket and making it like, nobody thinks of that for real. You know what I'm know. saying? I, say, I don't know. Like you really but have to think is, about though, that. With that too, right? Yeah. So, first of all, it's not your first time getting shot. Mm-hmm. After the after the video, it's not your first time getting shot. Mm-hmm. At one point, like some people just don't belong in the streets, bro. Some oh people, yeah, no. Some people don't. Be, some people don't need to be gangsters. Some niggas don't be, need to be criminals. Mm-hmm. You, you know what you did, bro. Mm-hmm. You know how people feel about that. And you still did it. So, but on your birthday, first of all, you out in your you out in your city, mm-hmm. whatever or Tampa, whatever you was in Tampa, you out in Florida where people can access you. Moving too free. Yeah, I know. Wasn't you he drunk? Mm-hmm. You outside. You posting your location. Yeah, like people not watching you. Not the ops is not watching you, waiting for you to slip up. Mm-hmm. Why? Like I don't get. Like at that point, you made your disses. You diss. You diss the ops. Mm-hmm. Get out of your city, bro. I don't. But you got your money. Get out. If you want to celebrate your birthday, you want to get lit somewhere. You got the money. Go celebrate somewhere else, bro. But you know, you're how celebrating your. As I was saying, some people don't, don't. Don't people don't belong in the streets, bro. Bro, because they don't. They don't think like that, bro. They don't care. They don't, bro. They they, bro. He put in a tweet. He says either the only way his life going is either he's gonna be in jail or he's gonna die. That's, that's really what, I, I that is, then that's just that's, that is his that's mentality. stupid, bro. That's so because that's dumb. But that's what like, they raised to to learn, bro. Like example, bro. R.I.P. King Vaughn. King Vaughn died just being an idiot in other places. Yeah. But he blew up. Mm-hmm. He moved to Atlanta, bro. That's what I'm saying, bro. Dirk moved to Atlanta. Or, Chief yeah. Keith moved, moved to, to LA. LA. That's what I'm saying. They get out of there. They smart. get out of there. I'm dissing. Herbo moved to LA. That's what I'm saying. I'm dissing. I'm dissing so many people. I can't stay in my city, bro. Because you know what it is, though? Because they realize, you know, I'm up right now. And I, I love this life. Mm-hmm. I don't want to die. That's what I'm saying. These people like fully on them. They don't really. They not. I don't think they're really as up, but they're pre, they they could get they there. They probably no. They probably just got. They probably got. They got money, but they yeah, got yeah. enough money to get out of here, bro. Mm-hmm. And I don't know. I don't. I don't. I don't do. I don't know about Young and Ace. So yeah. I don't. I can't even. I can't even speak on him. That's when but, I made the who I smoke. Uh huh. On Chichi, whatever. Man. <laughs> but my yo like. Like I said, if he's in Florida still, he's an idiot, bro. Yeah. Fulio just died. You dissing Fulio already. You're an idiot if you think you're gonna stay in Florida, and like yeah, and live and live. It's crazy, but Fulio. They, you think you're you're dumb. They're not. Smart. You think because you're three hours away, people are not tracking you, bro. They're watching you every move every day, bro. They just waiting. They got like, some people just don't. Like I said, some people just don't need to be doing crime. You know bro. what I heard? You know I also heard, bro. A lot of the big rappers like Young Ace and Fully on them, since they got so much bread, bro, they pay dudes to wait on you, bro, like Hitman. Yeah. Pay he dudes, had, he's waiting. He had like, he had like 80, 80K on his head. Come on, bro. 100K on his head, bro. Like, come on, bro. Like, Look, these, you think you think people not paying attention to that? That's what I'm saying, bro. It don't make on. no sense. He got, a, he got 100K on his head. Mm-hmm. He is slipping. It's his birthday. He's posting on his story. He's drunk as hell. He's slipping. Well, he was at a hotel, right? He, no, he was at an Airbnb. But he got kicked out. He got kicked out the Airbnb and then went to a motel, but posted the motel, I think. I was like, oh, yeah, we going here next. Freaking idiots, bro. Ayo, and they shot him like 800 times. I know, shot the the car up, right? Yeah, bro. He only got shot one. I think he only got shot once, though. I mean, you a bad, you a bad shooter, bro. That's what I'm saying. How the hell you freaking missed all them <laughs> shots? But I'm thinking, right? His the, He had mans in the car. Like, he had other dudes Yeah, in he the had car. three people in the car. And and only, they, only he got shot. Only he died. That's crazy. That's just and then and the, and the people he dissed, it was three people. In, it was four people in the car. So it was four people in the car, including him. Yeah. Only one person died. And the other song where he dissed, it was three people. It was four people in the car. Three died and one lived. That's Young and Ace. He lived. Wow. I, I ain't gonna lie. Once I get shot up once, I'm done. I'm di- I'm out of there. I'm snitching on yeah. everybody. I'm not. I'm, I mean, if I'm in that life, I'm not snitching. Nah. You just got your sh- You just got your your foot shot off, bro. Bro, if I know who the ops is, I'm snitching on all the ops. You're not gonna snitch on the ops if you know who the ops are. Not if I'm in that life. Me is me. It's Corey Petty. Yes. I don't gang bang, bro. <laughs> if I get shot and I know who shot me, I am telling. <laughs> <laughs> I'm but, telling everybody right now. Don't do a crime with me, Corey Petty. Right now, <laughs> don't do a crime like uh, with me, bro. Still though, if we if we get in the car right now, me and get in the no, car, no. right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you got a gun in your car, mm-hmm. and you bring the gun in the car, and we get pulled over. Yeah. And they like, who gun is? I'm looking at you. <laughs> I, I ain't mad at you, bro. 
I'm not. If you be you. like, I don't know who gun that is, I'm gonna be officer. It's his gun. Because um, now, you, now you're going basically saying it's one of our guns. That's what I'm saying. You, you're not gonna, you're not gonna stick up. You want, you want, you, you want me to put go down for it. But at the same time, right? Like I said, this is what I mean by snitching. I'm snitching. Like, like say, say, say you, say we relate. Like you, my brother, mm-hmm. and you, 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 you a big time game banger. But I'm just affiliated with you, and they try to kill me. I am snitching on them. I'm like, yo, yeah, they trying to. That's what I meant by snitching. You know what I mean? I, I don't know if I'm gonna do that because that just. I'm out of here. <laughs> that's well, I'm not gonna be in a situation where you can keep getting my ass, bro. <laughs> bro, I'm telling you, if like say one of my men, like my best friends, he in the gang, and he, we we in the car, we almost get shot. I almost died, mm-hmm. and I know who did it. I'm going to the police. I was saying, me, Corey Petty. Yes, I'm going to the police. You're still Corey Petty. Like, say mm-hmm. I'm like your best friend, and I'm a gangbanger, and, and, I'm and the car gets shot up because yes. I'm with you. I might snitch. Like, yo, bro, I know who shot me, bro. <laughs> I know exactly. Like, they just be like, nah, bro, we gonna get get back. I don't no. want to get back, bro. I want him in jail. Get bro. him in jail. <laughs> I don't want him to come back and shoot me, bro. I want him to go. Are, are you crazy? <laughs> like these guys are so like I don't like I understand. There's a code to the streets. I'm not but in the streets, bro. <laughs> I am not. Yo, snitching should be allowed in certain situations. I'm a civilian, bro. I'm going to snitch. <laughs> like, is it? Am I wrong? No, I'm a civilian, bro. I, <laughs> I'm snitching on they're you. They're technically civilians too. No, they're not. They're in the streets. They're okay. They're civilians with they. They just civilians with so, charges. Uh, so okay, if I'm in, so like like I said, I'm in Fulio's position. Yes. Where I am a gangster, I do all this dissing. I do all this like all this crime. Okay, yeah, no, I'm not gonna go to police because I might get arrested. No, I, no, not even that. I have a I have a cold to abstain. Because if I snitch, that's the end of my career. A career of what? Rapping? Yeah. I'm, yeah. Look at all the famous people that snitched that, that was rappers. If I made $3 million, Corey? Spot him, got him. His career is done because he snitched. 6 9 we already know where he's at. Gunner. Gunna, no, he's the only one that survived. Look, look. He think, didn't really snitch for Think it. about it, though. I'm getting my money and I'm moving. Corey, if I make $3 million, Okay, okay. I'm going to move, though. But if I can't move... And what like, you mean? I have three million. I can move wherever I want. But what if they really watch your head, bro? What if they got people in Houston? Like you move to Houston, they try to kill you. If I get if I get caught in another drive by, I'm snitching. I'm not. I'm not. No, not if I'm Fulio. Like if I'm in, like like I said, I'm, if I'm Fulio King Vaughn. No, no. If I move and I still almost die. No, I'm not snitching because this is this is the life I put myself in, bro. I'm trying to get out of it. That's no, my left. No, that you you're too late. You, that's how you got your money by getting in there. It's too late, bro. bro if look, I'll probably try to make peace with the like. All right, bro. Like I'm I'm off this. Feel me, but if I if, if I already put myself in his life, that's the life I live. I won't snitch. What if I didn't put myself into his life? I got in here by accident. Well, whatever you're living this life. This is how you blew up by this life. I'm not snitching, but me is Corey Petty right now. <laughs> I'm snitching. <laughs> I'm but snitching. I said I'm Fulio. I'm not snitching. I am moving. The only reason why I'm not snitching if I'm Fulio is because I feel like they're gonna arrest me too because I did some stuff. That's they, the only they, thing. They, they might, that's but no, thing. they're not. They're not gonna arrest you because they want to know everything. They, they, they don't care what you did. If you, the, can, if you can lock somebody else up by snitching, they don't care what you at did. At the bro. same time, I feel like if you're high enough and big enough as like a rapper, I feel like you work with the cops. I'm telling you. Certain right. things. I have the money to move. Lil Dirk don't be in Chicago. I'm, I'm, Chief Keith don't be in Chicago. Depending, all right, if I, if I survive three drive-bys, two to three drive-bys, I might move out the country. I might move to Canada. Is that wild? Am I pussy? Yeah, <laughs> Canada is so nice, it's bro. It's fifty states, bro. You gotta go. You gotta go to Canada. Yo, with the broskies in them. It's fifty states. Like, there's nobody in Nashville, Tennessee. They don't got nobody hawking me down in Nashville. Bro. I don't like like that. Must suck, bro. You really got. First of all, I am famous. Why do you know? You don't have to know where I live. I can move to New York City. But that's what I'm saying. You don't freaking have, like pop smoke got freaking pop. What did he do? But like that was that was just people. Okay, that was an accident. He posted though. his address, like the exact address but I don't, on his story, bro. But do you think like if I'm Canada, am I, I'm in Canada, there's gonna be people that's out to get me like that? Yeah, post your address. See what happens. Shit. <laughs> like like, Pop Smoke got killed because he posted his address. I know. Now P and B, he was in L A. He people saw him. That's what but I'm also, you posted that she was it was at the chicken the Waffle House. That must suck. Like they're not even his ops. They just random dudes. They try to get come to rob you. I'm saying yeah. that's where I'm. I, I said some people. I, I'm never posting my location. I'm I know what I'll do. I'll post it after I leave. I don't think I, I won't post a story. I will never post a story of like me not personally. not the, not the scenery. Oh yeah, nothing. No, no my, maybe the room. Nah, I don't even want or, to. Or if I post a story, it's not going to be live. I don't even want to. Like I don't even want <laughs> to do that. Like just in case. Like nah. Because I won't, it won't be live. I'll post a story. 
I'm like, oh, look at the city. Ah, this shit nice, I ain't gonna bro. lie, this bro. This shit nice. And post that shit four hours later, but I, I already left. I ain't gonna lie, bro. If if I'm a get, if I'm if I want to hit on somebody, you know, I'm hiring. I'm hiring that dude that be on TikTok that can find anything, like just buy a picture. You ever seen that geo? Nah. That geo guesser dude. Mm-mm. There's a geo guess. You know, you know what geo guessing is? Yeah, like you know, you could just tell by like the background. Or yeah. Something. So there's a guy. He's like a professional geo guesser. Mm-hmm. So like you can give like <laughs> like somebody was doing a like a video, right? He did a video. He was like. He's like, I'm gatekeeping this um bagel spot in New York City. Y'all never gonna find it. He's like, I oh, he got found this. it. Yeah, he found it by the, the by the by the. I, I, no, I, no, no. I, he found it with the 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 wrapping paper. I know the, the wrapper. No, he, he found it with the wrapping paper in the sandwich, and then the ceilings of the. That's uh, what I'm saying. The ceilings of I know exactly what you're talking about. The ceilings of the what you call it. Yes, I know. And bro. then the chairs. I know he. he yeah, he found bro, it. I'm. I'll hit that dude. I'm like, yo, what do you think this place is, bro? Like, tell me right now. I want to do a video like a content. Ha ha. Get that guy out of here. Why are you thinking like a criminal? I but, mean. I thought you was a civilian just now. I was. I just I just you went just, to the dark yeah, side. What's, what happened, bro? I'm sorry. Little, I'm sorry. I'm dark, bro. I'm sorry, bro. But I'm just saying, bro. Like, I feel like I wouldn't want to post nothing. I'd be scared as hell, bro. I would post. Like, I'll post. First, I don't post now as it is. Yeah, that's what I'm but saying. If I did post, if I was famous, I'm telling you, I would, like, by, by the time I posted that video, go ahead. Go over there. Go. You seen the location? Go. Yeah. I'm oh, not there no not more. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> I'm not there okay, no okay, more. Okay, okay, okay. But, okay, and I also got a question. If somebody comes up to rob you, are you giving up everything? What I got? Like, they robbing me right now. You got now. chains, watches. Chains, watches, wallet. Oh, yeah, yeah. Here, have it. Yeah, I'm I'll like... I'll get it back. I'm like, go ahead. First of all, you can't sell it. Exactly. There's no... They're so stupid. You can't sell this. Are y'all idiots? Most, most jewelry has locations in it now. Exactly. That's so go dumb. Ahead. Here. Most these, people, most people, most nah. I'm not, sorry, that, that's not true. These games, but yeah, go here, have it. These people that be robbing stuff is so stupid, bro. Here, have it, bro. Like y'all got a better chance of robbing a bank than just robbing yeah. me for like y'all. Like you want, rob, you want my chains here? Have it. I'm you a, can't sell this, bro. And I'm gonna get it back. Yeah, I'm gonna get it back. Yeah, go ahead. You sell it, it to the pawners, I right, whatever. Bet unless unless he sells it to like somebody like like a drug smuggler, then you might. Yeah, not cool. Get it you don't know that. You don't know. You don't. You don't know a drug smuggler. Yeah, bro. if anything, I'm gonna get it back. Regardless. You're a regular nigga, bro. That just robbed me here. That's crazy. <laughs> P and B, why don't you just give him the chain, cuz? I, I feel like why don't you just give him the chain, cuz? Or the waffles, whatever you want, man. If you if, it, if if I don't got cash on me, cause cash, you ain't getting that back. If it's my chains, my jewelry, t- take that rings, all that, bro. You can't sell it, bro. That's Go so ahead. Crazy, bro. <sighs> Once you do sell it, guess what? The pawn store calling the cops immediately. <laughs> immediately, like it's just like. They just be so dumb. Like they don't really, they don't calculate their moves, bro. Not at all, bro. Like y'all just go, y'all just all do the, it. Especially all the cameras that we got. That's so stupid. Come y'all, on, you're y'all not even come in. Y'all don't even rob people with masks no more. Yeah. They just come in dolo. Like they just don't, came in out of work. Don't worry, buddy. We're gonna solve this case in twelve hours. Exactly. You're getting you're done. Caught. You're gonna get caught, bro. <laughs> They're gonna see your bro. car. It's over. I got the. I have my lawyers. Mm-hmm. It's over for you. Like, like I don't know if you ever watched that movie with uh, Mark Wahlberg and The Rock, Pain and Gain. Uh huh. Like you Let know, that's not a true story. Oh, yeah, I know. Yeah, that. I was gonna say that's a true story. Mm-hmm. Like I ain't gonna lie, it's, it's that's a that's a tough story. But they were idiots. Mm-hmm. They were <laughs> they were idiots, bro. This man wanted to rob a dude. A, what was he? He wasn't like a bad dude. Like he wasn't like selling drugs or anything. He was no. just rich. He was just mm-hmm. asshole. They wanted to rob him, and they tried to freaking they tried to rob him, and they ended up showing him their faces. Mm-hmm. And then they tried to kill him, and they couldn't even kill cuz. And then they ended up killing. A freaking guy that owned like a porn site or whatever. Yeah, something by like that. accident. I'm like, bro, that was so dumb. I don't know, bro. I was watching. I was. I was, I was talking about that because I was watching it when I went to the Dominican Republic. I was watching that movie. And I on forgot the, on the plane or something. No, no. They uh they had um Netflix on the TVs. So somebody's Netflix was signed in. So I was just watching it on Netflix. Mm. But thank you whoever left their Netflix on. <laughs> I think your name was Jackson. Shout out Jackson. You know what I'm saying. But I got a I got a story to tell you, Corey. Mm-hmm. I got a story about. Hold on, let me let me pull this story up. I got a story about the, one of the craziest serial killers in the United States that mm-hmm. nobody ever talked about. I think he was possessed by a, a demon. Yes, I think so. Because the way the way he was acting was wild, bro. So his name was Israel Keys, right? Yeah. And he was he was killing people from like I think the early two thousands till about two thousand tens, bro. But he was killing people all over the United States from like Alaska mm-hmm. to Florida. To New York, Maine, California, all over the place, right? Yeah. And he was so like crazy to the point because when he was a kid, he used to love hunting. Like he was a hunter. He used to hunt animals, and like he got so bored with hunting animals, he started he wanted to hunt humans. Mm-hmm. So he went to the army. He wanted to be in the front lines, but he wasn't mentally there yet. So he's like, you know what? 
F that. I'm going to start hunting humans. So he was actually like hunting people down. Like he was a kidnapper. He was a burglar. He would rob people's cribs. He would rob banks. But what he would do is, right, he was so like sick in the head. He would go to Mexico and get plastic surgery. Yeah. So he will kill somebody and then change his like and change, change his, face. his face. He'll get nose jobs. He'll change his teeth up. And he actually he got like um biogastric surgery, you know, on your stomach that it like closes your stomach so you eat less. Mm-hmm. So he doesn't feel hungry. So he like he's not thinking about eating. He's thinking about killing people. <laughs> what a sicko. Yo, that was the when I heard about that, it was like, how sick can you really possibly be to like do some wild stuff like Death that? Death penalty. That's what he, I'm saying. That's what he does it like. Like, I, I, there's some, there's a lot of, of course, there's a lot of sick people in this world, but that, that's like movie serial killer, like Michael yeah. Myers level. Like he even went to a point where he was trying to change his finger fingerprints so uh-huh. he won't get caught. But he got caught in 2010 and he got arrested. I think he got sent to like 150 years. He didn't even get the death penalty. Cause I, I think he got caught in like Alaska or Utah, or whatever. Yeah. But he died in 2012 because he killed himself in uh in his prison. So he he uh slit his wrist mm-hmm. and he hung himself, or whatever. Right. But the so the FBI they was they was trying to figure out how many people he killed yeah. because he was literally all over the United States, and they kind of narrowed it down to about like eleven people because when he died only eleven only eleven because when he died he um he left a lot of thing a lot of stuff in his uh cell like he left a, a piece of paper with three skull and crossbones on it yeah like three skulls on it mm-hmm. and it was like a picture of the devil on it yeah. and then he written out like a curse. On the walls, like before he died, with his own blood, like a like a demon curse. Yeah. Like right before he died. So I don't know if this guy was possessed to all, don't know what, like all devils or whatever. And they think he killed way more people, but it's just not confirmed. Not confirmed, yeah, right. Like just imagine, there's people out there that we didn't even catch yet that is like roaming around, they're missing, just, uh, kidnapping people. That's just chilling. This is chilling. Like, because you got to think about it. Like all those Jeffrey Dahmer's and like uh, uh, what's uh Ted Bunnies? They they came out in like the nineties. Mm-hmm. Wh- who's gonna come out in the twenty tens, bro? Like imagine like twenty years from now, it's like twenty tens. Like it was like yeah. serial killer in New Jersey, bro. Like I be thinking like, and there's a lot of people. There's a lot of serial killers, right? They be like, you know, they're sociopaths or whatever. Yeah. So they try to like blend charm, in, yeah, they, charm you up and like blend in society until one day they're gonna like you know. Oh, let's go out to drink one day. Go out, get a drink. They mm-hmm. drug you up, and now you're missing. Yeah, now you're dead. But like, like yeah, they they woo you. Like, oh, you're mm-hmm. normal. Mm-hmm. Oh shit, you're not normal. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. And it's it's really scary to a point because it's like now, especially I feel like there's a lot more serial killers based on like how because of COVID, because a lot of people start getting like mental health issues. Mm-hmm. So I feel like a lot more people are getting like it's sick. It's hard to be a serial killer today, though. You think so? All the cameras. Oh and yeah, 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 yeah. And, geo tags and the pings with the it's just it's, hard to like how you keep a secret yeah you're not gonna get away with that yeah bro. you'll probably kill two three people max, max. Mm-hmm. and then by the time you kill the third person we like they know who who did it mm-hmm. and now you're you're under you're, you're, it's a search party out for you bro mm-hmm. that's true ain't no more going to bars and being like you're done bro yeah. you're not wooing nobody else it's, your face is already plastered bro. that's true that's it's true. so hard being a, a serial killer i mean it, I, I don't know yeah, yeah, but yeah, it, yeah, would, yeah. it would be so hard being a serial killer nowadays bro so do you think that's why like you think there's like there's no there's probably not a lot of serial killers that got like ted bundy numbers like not even like probably one or two kills man it's crazy can you how you really think about it though mm-hmm like what do you classify as a serial killer because these niggas in chicago florida Bro, I LA. Heard, yeah. Why are they not serial killers? They low key are. If you want to be honest, that's what I'm saying. Niggas, they, niggas got seven, eight, ten bodies, bro. Bro, there be why kids. aren't they? Why aren't they serial killers? They be kids that there might be like seventeen. They might have already caught four or five. Yeah. Like what classifies you as a, maybe? You know what? I think mentally it classifies as a serial killer. If you just think about killing, just like mm. you just want to do it just cause. Yeah. I feel like you're you're a mur- like a betw- difference between a murder and serial killer. Murderers are just people that they don't. They're not thinking about killing all the time. They're just killing just to, you know, either for like a motive or whatever. Yeah. Serial killers, I feel like they just, just kill for fun. They kill for fun. Like it's like a sport. Yeah. Like Ted Bundy and all them, they didn't like, he didn't care. They just, he just liked the feeling of killing somebody. Yeah, like they're sick real. in the head. Uh-huh. But you don't know. Some of these hood dudes, these gangbangers might be serial killers. Like I heard King Vaughn. Vaughn was the King Vaughn, the first hood, uh, I said rapper serial killer, hood serial killer. Bro, they said they was happy he died. Cause yeah, they was like, he was terrorizing <laughs> these heavy body. I, they heard, I heard he had, he caught like eight or nine, bro. They, I, yeah, I heard seven, but. Oh yeah, seven, seven. It was like, they was like, <laughs> it was like the, they, 
they was happy King Von died for the community. You know? Yeah, bro. <laughs> the, the community got better because King Von like, died. Like, he was really just crashing out. That's crazy, though. But at the same time, imagine there's somebody that's like King Von, but he's just hiding it. Like, he's just, like, he's not really talking about it. Like, he's mm-hmm. one of the guys. Like, you ever see the dudes in the, in the music videos that got the mask up because yeah. they don't want to be seen by the cop? He's one of those dudes. He probably got, like, four or five, bro. I mean, there's people like that. I just, like, like, I, like, I don't, I, I even think, like, those murders, the cops know who did it. Oh, yeah. They just, they just letting you, like, oh, let them kill each other. Mm-hmm. Let them keep going. Mm-hmm. It's, no, like, I just, I, I just don't understand how, like, shit is set up these days. You don't. Like you gotta know who killed somebody. Bro. Yeah, especially it's now. too many cameras, cameras or too many investigative things. Like I've I seen something on TikTok the other day. I don't know the full story. Yeah, but I know that like they somebody a a lady got killed, and they broke into they broke into a lady's house, mm-hmm. and they broke into the wrong house. They meant to, they meant to break break into the weed the weed dude's house, but they broke into the lady's house, mm-hmm. and they killed her. Yeah, and took their phone, took her phone, whatever for whatever reason they they took her phone. Really, and the 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 case went like unsolved by the uh, city, mm-hmm. and then the state opened it, and all they did, and, and literally, um, like this this case was closed for two 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 three years, mm-hmm. and then finally the state picked it up in a matter of a day or two. All they did was ping the phones, and they found and they, them? they found. They pinged her phone yeah. and seen who other phones it pinged to in, in, the, in the area at the same time. And it pinged to the three people that killed her. Wow. It pinged to the to, to the two murders and the getaway driver. That's what I'm saying. That fast. That's what I'm saying. But I, I feel like it's never going to get... The, the only way that you'll find it quick is if you bring it to like the higher up people. Because, mm-hmm. like I said, like Union, Union Inglewood Police Department are going to find it immediately because they yeah. don't got the resources. And they probably don't got the time. And effort and bodies to mm-hmm. actually go and investigate and look for it. So they bring it up to the high people. It keeps going, but at the same time, there is corrupt cops everywhere. Yeah, like you don't know who does not like you. You don't know who is being dirty. Working for who? Who's working for who? Like you know, like there's probably cop like like I'm not saying like union cops, but like some cops like maybe in the south that's like bringing in drugs and stuff like mm-hmm. that. You never know. So like they might just be like, oh, we hear you. I don't give a fuck though. Like, yeah. I don't care. Like, it's not affecting me. It's not affecting the rich people that are paying us. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's what is crazy about, like, law enforcement and the system nowadays is because they pick and choose what they want to classify as serious or classify as, like, oh, yeah, now we need to figure out who did this. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. There could be a, a murderer among the streets, black dude, killing 30 bodies. Man, it's, he, he's killing the people that we want killed. Yeah. He's not killing the white people. Oh, he killed the white, bo- white yeah, guy by accident? Let's get him. Let's get him. Come here. Yeah, now we got you. Mm-hmm. We've we been known you, you doing killed it. the baby? Come yeah. here. We've been known. Mm-hmm. We've been known, but it's, like, it's it's just so bad, bro. Oh, an eight-year-old died? Come yeah, here. Yeah, we got you. Like, it's not, you know, it's just... It's Kill like, the wrong person, bucko. <laughs> like, it's just really terrible, especially nowadays. Like, the system is just not... I don't think it will ever be good. No. Like, I don't, I don't think, so. think it's. I don't think it's possible. We're, we're, nah, it's, it's, it is what it is. I feel like corruption... As long as we are who we are as human beings, like corruption is always going to be a thing, no matter what, because everybody is always going to want to uh, find a way to either power, power, yeah. That's so, what... as long as power exists, mm-hmm. corruption is always going to be a thing. It's just so sad. Like I learned a lot of cor- about corruption in school, like with um, the management and stuff, and I learned like yo, a lot of these companies, bro. Like that's why I be I be really I be starting to be real hesitant with the things I eat mm-hmm. and do. Because a lot of these companies, they don't care about your body. They'll say, like, oh, it's healthy for you. But at the end of the day, they, it's it's about making money. Mm-hmm. As long as they are, as long as you're buying their stuff, they can lie about whatever they want. And just maybe, maybe they're not lying, but the way they're doing it is not safe for you. You know what yeah. I'm saying? And I just feel like it's like you cannot, there's not a lot of things to trust. Because, yo, there's so many, you know, like cigarette companies, for example. Cigarettes were killing people for mm-hmm. years in the 80s. And it like they was they was making they they would use like women and like like pretty girls to, to promote it to promote it be like no nah, it's okay like you see these girls they look cute they still smoking cigarettes and they'll use like the war people because like you know it helps them like calm down mm. but at the end of the day they're you're killing them off a lot more yeah and when when a uh, doctor started you know coming out saying like nah tobacco is not good for you the freaking the big tobacco companies they was trying to freaking get them doctors out of here because mm. you messing with the business losing us money bro yeah like even. Even breakfast, bro. The breakfast companies, bro. Like they, they, they preach. They've been preaching for years since the 1950s. 
Like, they started preaching breakfast is the most important meal of the day, but you really don't need to eat breakfast. Like, they say you're supposed to eat, like, like you know, it's good to eat a balanced breakfast with, like, carbs, proteins, mm. fruits, all that stuff. But really, and, like, like with bacon, uh, sauce, whatever, they talked about that because there was, like, a shortage. Oh, no, no. This how, is this how cereal became really popular. It's because there was, like, a shortage in, like, I think in, like, the with the meat supplies back in, like, the 50s and 40s, 60s mm. with, like, bacon. Like, there was low things. So, they was, like, you know what? Let's make, like, cereal and tell them, like, cereal is healthier for you and it's a, it's a better way to start your day. And they start coming out with commercials and now people are like, oh, you know, cereal's good and, like, oh, it's healthy for me. But mm. really, you're literally eating sugar, straight sugar, and you're really, like, that's why people starting to get diabetes. But it was all just the front to, like, you know let people like make people's focus go away from like oh we're losing like we don't have enough food to feed you and now we're gonna give you processed food yeah. and that was like the start of like oh you know what we don't have to make like whole grain organic food no more we can just make it in a factory and just give it to them they're gonna like it if we tell them that yeah and it's really like i really just be trying to like either watch what i eat or watch what i do because you never know but like some especially like fast food like i try my best not to eat fast food as much and try and it's harder to get organic food because it's like way more expensive mm. but i try my best to do that as much as possible just because i don't want to feel the side effects in the long run bro mm. like i remember Ish, me and Ish was talking about it on the podcast one time like he's a pescatarian now like he just eats fish yeah fish and like um carbs and stuff because he real like he um he realized like a lot of red meats and stuff is not good for you like red meats he never ate pork before because he already knew that pork is not good for you, but it's just like you've been, you've been, what's the word, uh, programmed all your life thinking like, oh, bacon's good for you, Pro- these proteins is good for you, but at the end of the day, it's all just for you to buy this stuff and to keep buying it and think you need it, and now that you enjoy it, you just have a hunger for it, now you can keep buying it, and now we're going to keep making money off of you. Yeah. It's like, we're literally farming us, bro, and I just hate how this, how the world is, but hey, man. You got to do what you got to do, I guess, to make some yeah. bread out here in the world, man. Back in the good old days, a loaf of bread was that shit, man. Bro, it's bad, <laughs> bro. You got a loaf of bread for the family? Yo. Back in the t- 1910s? Yo, you was... Man, the- in, 19- in 1912, I got a loaf of bread for the family. You a hero. Was up. You a hero, bro. Even back... Even... Yo, I, I thought you was talking about like how much it costs, bro. Everything's so much bread, bro. Did you see that one video? The dude... The dude had a had an order... In 2022 for Walmart, mm-hmm. and the total was like a hundred something dollars. Yeah, and he did not even it probably was less than that. Yeah, and he's going through his Walmart orders, and did, literally just reordered the cart, four hundred fifty dollars now. Oh wait, like from back then? Yeah, four fifty. All he did, all he did, all he, all he clicked was reorder. Like he just said, oh, the reorder. Click the reorder button. The same cart that was a hundred dollars in 2022. Yo, four hundred fifty dollars. Right that's now. what, bro. That's what I'm saying, bro. We are low key in like a really bad economy to like, 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 um, like not like we're probably not like the Great Depression, but we low key might be. But it's just like they're not really saying it they're too much to scare us. It, yeah, because, bro, I heard like in order like to live comfortably in New Jersey, you have to make six figures comfortably. Mm-hmm. Like I'm talking about just like a nice home. Not, not even luxury, just comfortably. Yeah. A hundred K. When you was back like five, six years ago, a hundred K, you was up, bro. Uh-huh. Now you have to make hundred K minimum. Like, that's crazy, bro. Yeah, that's ridiculous. That's ridiculous. Like, 75K back then was like, oh, that's a good paying job. Mm-hmm. Nah, good paying job, and I was at least minimum hundred K, bro. And it's go- It's just going to keep rising. Like, I heard, like, um, they was talking about, like, uh, like, uh, like nowadays, uh, who said it? It was somebody was saying, like, um, McDonald's workers can't live a normal life because even though they're making like 20, 25 an hour, mm-hmm. that's not enough to sustain their own lives because yeah. you got to think about it. 20, 25 an hour, say they work 40 hours a week. That's like what? Uh, Maybe a thousand. Was a thousand? Is that a thousand dollars a week? Maybe a thousand. I don't know. I can't do. Th- yeah, it's probably like a thousand dollars a week, whatever. You make four thousand, four thousand a month, 36,000 a year. That's nothing, bro. Yeah. Bro, freaking a two bedroom apartment around here is like 3k imagine that bro you still you got to pay for health insurance you got to pay for your taxes you mm-hmm. got to pay for food you got you can you ain't got enough time to spend on yourself bro it sucks bro i don't really yo it's a it's a terrible life bro and i feel like you know parents back they be like you know y'all y'all kids is having it easy nowadays but y'all got this technology bro it's not nah. easy no more bro 
Nah, not. It's not, not easy. Where, no more. Not where expensive everything is. Man, f this, bro. I wish I wish I was a kid again, bro. We're gonna have to start paying taxes soon, Corey. True. <laughs> you trying to think about that, mm-hmm. bro? Hold on. Six, bro. I know. Hey, man. Can't, but and you gotta get your own health insurance at twenty six. Yep. And you're not on your parents' things no more. But oh, I actually, I actually got another uh, murder mystery thing to talk about. There was a murder mystery that was solved with the shark. Right, mm. so there was a. It was I think it was like in the 1900s in Australia. There was a t- 14 foot tiger shark, tiger shark in an aquarium, and you know there was like families lined up to watch it. And there's one day the shark threw up a, a human arm mm. and scared everybody. The cops were called. There was like, yo, what the hell happened? Did the shark eat somebody? They were trying to look, and nobody in like the the place was missing. But they looked at the arm, and it wasn't, like, bit off. Like, you know when it's bit off, it was, like, jagged? Yeah, it was sliced, cut, sliced off. off. So it was like, oh, nah, like, this is a murder case. Like, who killed this guy? Mm-hmm. So they tried to identify the person. They couldn't identify it because it was back then. They really didn't have that much technology. And they, fe- they But they looked at the arm, and it had a tattoo on it of, like, two guys boxing. So they put that in the newspaper. And somebody came out and said, oh, my brother had that same tattoo, and he was mi- he's been missing for three weeks. Yeah. His brother's name was... It was a Jim, a uh, James Smith, mm-hmm. and supposedly James Smith was like, uh, he was like low key running with like the wrong crowd, like he was with a lot of like the, uh, drug smugglers of Australia, and like I guess like, he was like blackmailing them because he, I think he was like an accountant or whatever. He was like, doing fraud and stuff, mm-hmm. but I guess the group that he was in, wasn't like paying him enough, so he decided to blackmail him. But I guess they caught him lacking. Like I guess they got they got him drunk. They was playing cards and they killed him. Yeah. And they cut up his body, and I think they put him. They put his whole body in a bag and they threw him in the ocean. Yeah. They thought you know, like, oh, he's gone. They're not gonna find him until a tiger shark like, found ate, the body. Ate, ate a piece of him. Ate a piece of him, and like the the Sydney police or whatever, or not the Sydney police, the people on shore, like they found this tiger shark. They they uh fished him out mm-hmm. and they put him in that aquarium. Yeah. So Loki, they could have gotten away with it. If they just didn't pick that shark. If they didn't pick that shark. Yeah. Because as soon as they 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 the shark only been in the aquarium for like three weeks. Mm-hmm. So as soon as soon as they put the shark in the aquarium, he literally just threw up the 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 mm-hmm. arm, and then that's what started the investigation. Like, oh no, nah, like who or is they this guy? The other arm with no tattoo. Exactly. Uh-huh. They were never known, bro. It was just like the the coincidence and like how it planned out was just crazy. And like they they found out who the guys were. And they I think they got like a honey. They got like. Life in prison, whatever. But it was like in the thirties, so they, I think they all have died already or some shit like oh, that. Oh, that was long. Yeah, long it was like uh, it was like nineteen fifties. It was like a minute. Oh, ago. I thought it was like almost like recently. No, no, it wasn't recently, but it was like it was like a big thing, and people thought it was like a myth or whatever mm-hmm. because it was like what the hell? They thought like a shark ate a human, but it was actually like a real like case yeah. in Australia. But like, what are the odds? That's mad weird. Yeah, but I'd be like, yeah, I deserve to go to jail, man. I'd be mad as hell. Cause I'd be like, yeah, they got me, bro. I'd be mad as hell. Imagine the one shark. <laughs> A random shark. Yeah, they got me, bro. I, I ain't even mad, bro. <laughs> they got me, bro. I deserve this one. I be nah, hell no. I be so all the mad, avenues bro. to get caught. This how I get caught. Yeah, y'all got me, man. I be so pissed, bro. But um, you got anything else you want to talk about? Or you want to go? Did to- you Did you hear that story? It's on. It's, it's been going on t- around TikTok. It's about so this this is wife and this wife and husband. Mm-hmm. They had a baby, and so they had this baby for five years. And the husband looking at this baby like, yo, this baby don't look like me, bro. So mm-hmm. he asking his he asking his wife, did you cheat on me? Like this baby don't look like me. We both got blue eyes. This baby got brown eyes. This baby mm-hmm. don't look like me. And she like, yo, this your baby. I didn't cheat on you, bro. Like this your baby. This is white people. I, yeah, come yeah, on, yeah, blue yeah. eyes. Yeah, oh, yeah, so, yeah. but you would call it. They 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 going back and forth. Mm-hmm. So she's like, alright, if you think I cheated on you, like I just get a maternity, let's get a, a maternity test. Yeah, yeah. And let's see, like, let's just solve it right now. And once you once and once you see I didn't cheat on you, like this is gonna be over with. Like, shut up about it. And they do the test mm-hmm. and the kid's not his. So he's like, Oh my god, I knew you cheated on me, blah, blah, blah. Like for me, so he's about to divorce his wife. And then she like the, now the wife like, no, like I know I for a fact I didn't cheat on you. Like this is weird. Like, so the wife looking at the baby now, like, hold on. You kind of don't look like me. <laughs> so now the wife gets a maternity test. So I meant yeah. to say paternity test. Paternity, so yeah. then now the wife gets a maternity test to see if her baby's hers. The baby's not hers either. Really? So she's like, they're not, now they both like, what the fuck? What's going on, bro? Like, how, how neither one of these babies are ours? So at the hospital, the day of the birth, the doctors switched the babies by accident. 
Really? So. Wait, so how old is this kid? Is this now kid- the kid is five. Oh, So my they God. took somebody else's baby and the, the whoever, another couple took their baby. But their couple, so the people that took their original baby. Yeah. Like they was like a fucked up family. Like, oh. so like they like. Like they was like on drugs or something, uh-huh. and the baby it was been in foster care for the last five years of, the, of his life. So now they're trying to like they're now wait. They're, so their actual kid, their actual kid, been in it's fo- been in foster care because oh like their gosh. baby, they, 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 the, that family couldn't take care of their baby. Like they was like drug addicts yeah, or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they haven't been they they didn't, they wasn't right. So that yeah. that kid's been at, in foster care. So now they're going they now they're they're in the uh, position of of adopting their real baby. Wow. That's crazy. You know, that's what I'm saying, bro. That I feel like that happens a lot. That's OD, bro. That's really crazy cuz like think about it. Like when you when they give birth and whatever, they take the baby and they put them like in the nursery. There could be times where they could switch by like, accident. Hold on. Which baby which baby belong to? <laughs> and like a lot of the nurses they be working long hours, maybe mm-hmm. once time she might put them in the wrong bin with the wrong name. Yeah. That, and like, especially like, if the babies look kind of similar, mm-hmm. it's like, dang, like. But most I'm, babies kind of look alike. Yeah, when they yeah. First come out, so. But like, I, like when you first come out, it's like you can't really tell at first. But like, I feel like once you hit like one, two, you start yeah, looking at like, like five years. You'd be like, hold on, this, that's what I was saying. The husband was looking at like this. This baby don't look like me at all, bro. Oh baby don't have my future, my features, my hair color, my nothing, bro. That's this baby's insane, not mine. Bro. And the wife wasn't suspicious until after she seen the baby wasn't his. She's like, "Well, I know I didn't cheat." Yeah, yeah. So she's like, "Hold on, this baby kind of don't look like That's me scary, either, bro. bro." That's what I'm saying. Like, like when, <laughs> like when me, when me and Jay have a kid, bro, I'm watching that baby. No, that's what they. That's what like a lot of people on TikTok been saying. You're not supposed to let your baby out of sight. They was like, if you do, like, they, like the whoever, like their father. Or like the a, grandmother like, or whoever's at the hospital with you, go with them to see where they put you, like where, where they go with your baby, mm-hmm, because really, you don't know, you don't, like you never know. That's what I'm saying. And I heard there was a there was a lady, right? There was a lady that she was a nurse and she was known for switching babies, uh-huh. and she got fired because she she got caught, bro. I heard she switched like 400 kids. Damn, so that's like 400 families. Families with different kids, with different bro. different kids. Yeah, like she was just doing... I, f- I don't know if she was just doing it out of spite, like she was crazy, uh-huh. or she was just doing it just because, like, for something. But it was just like she switched mad kids. And I also heard, right, there was a there was a lady in, I think, Tennessee. She had a, an adoption agency, right? Uh-huh. So, But she was also a nurse, and she had a lot of nurses work with her. So what they would do is this was like in like the I think the eighties or whatever. Yeah. They would they would work at hospitals, and they would deliver babies, and then they would take the babies and tell the the uh, the parents like oh yeah your baby didn't make it uh-huh. and they'll take the babies and they'll bring it to like their adoption agency and they'll yeah. adopt it to uh rich fi- they'll sell them to rich people yeah and make a profit off of it and they did it for at least I think ten twenty years bro until they got caught. That's crazy. But just imagine, but like they would just lie, tell the family, like, yeah, your baby, something happened with his heart. He had a heart attack, this, that, and third. He didn't make it. Like, he didn't get to make I it. I want to see his body. They, bro, they just. All right, bro, let me see my baby's body. Just dipped out of there, bro. Or you know what? I just, like, that's sick, though. Like, wh- like, there's certain people. That's what I'm saying. We was talking about sick people. Mm. There's certain people as well that really are sick in the freaking yeah, like, head. Why do you do that, bro? Like, you're really ruining these kids' lives. They didn't even get a chance to live here. You ruined their life, bro. Like, what if they went to the, the messed up family? Like, what if... Like, that one like, kid went to a messed up family that you talking saying, about. I'm saying. Like, I went to a messed up family. Like, feel me? And I was supposed to be, I was supposed to be born in luxury. Oh, my God, like, bro. I'm, I'm not going to lie. From that, that bag they about to get, though? Oh, my from God. Suing? Oh, yeah. No, nah, it's over. <laughs> They gonna be all right, bro. So I, I mean, you never gonna get that five years back, but yeah, but you get you, you can find a way. She, that kid ain't gonna remember that shit. No, nah, he not. He, that kid gonna grow up and not even know. Wait, uh, I was, nah, uh, five five years five. Years old, you might remember. not. You 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 not gonna. That's gonna that memory's gonna be real vague. It it depends how 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 discre- traumatic traumatic it is, bro. Because you know five year olds, mm. I feel like you start remembering stuff at five, so they mm. probably got them at a good age. You know what I'm saying? This is a perfect age to yeah. get them back, bro. Like you kinda, you, that 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 from. Five and up, that's that's gonna be real vague, but yeah. you don't really remember what's going on. Yeah. Now, now the question is, do you keep the other baby? You yeah, got I, to. I, yeah, you got to. You now. got to. You got bro. to now. Like he's literally your, your kid. Yeah, bro, you, you gotta got keep to the now. other baby now. Now y'all sisters, bro. Tell each other you're twins. But now, do you tell him about? It? When do you tell him? I tell him early. I, I'll tell him early. But hey, like yo. he might not understand it, but I'm gonna keep telling him. Just nah, so like I'm not gonna lie, I might. You might wait. I might not. Have been, I might not stress to tell them. Oh, but like 
if they ever, like, if like it's gonna come a time, like it, y'all gonna, it's not gonna be a secret. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I ain't gonna be like, oh no, nah, forever y'all gonna know that y'all not. But yeah, it ain't gonna be a secret. But I ain't gonna be like drilling in your head, like I don't want them to grow up thinking they're different from each other. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I get what you. So mean. you know, that's smart. That's smart. I'm gonna be like, all right, now, nah, like when when it, when it comes to like, oh yo, why we don't look at each other? Oh yeah, okay, I'm not really related. <laughs> mm, yeah, and also, yo, did you see that one where it was a, a brother and a sister? They they started dating each other, but they didn't know they were brother and sister. Yeah, uh-huh. Like you seen that one? Yeah. It was like I think it was so they when they were I don't know if they, I don't think they were twins, or they might have been twins. I can't remember. But like one went with the mom, one went with the, went mm-hmm. with the dad, and like they never met each other. Like they never got to see each other. Never one never got to see her father. One never got to see her mother. Mm-hmm. Whatever. And the parents accidentally like lived in the same town mm. and they went to the same high school, but they didn't tell them about each other. Yeah. And they ended up dating. And when they grad, they, they dated for like, like I think a year or two and they left. I think they went like, they started dating for like three years and then they brought them to their parents. I was like, wait, hold on. That's your brother. Yeah. And they never told them and they're still dating. Like, I mean, at that point, that's crazy though. Corey. At that point, bro, like I didn't. How many times I didn't date with you, bro? But like at the okay, that I'm, is we just true. we just we just dated for three years. But at that point, bro, like whatever we did, we cannot take back, bro. That is true. So you just gonna keep going with it? At that, that point, true. bro, like what I'm, I I just gotta I gotta unfall in love with you, bro. Like yeah, I ain't gonna lie, it's, it's over, bro. If that was Jay. Now if we break up, it's over, bro. Yeah, like, yeah, I, we yeah. broke up. Like we let's say we break up for whatever reason. I ain't telling nobody though. Yeah, yeah. Like, They're right. flaunting that. I'm I'm bringing that to the grave. Oh yeah, like it's over, bro. Like me, me and you could we could be we could be we could be brothers and sisters now. Yeah. Oh, like if we break up. Yeah, if we break up, we could be we could just be siblings, bro. Chill. We ain't yeah. we ain't we ain't whatever. That's crazy. But if we don't break like for me, if we have no reason to break up, I'm. We're not we're not having a kid. We're gonna get go to the sperm donor. Yeah, nah, I definitely can't have a kid. Yeah, nah, we're yeah. gonna go. We're gonna find the six six dude in the he sperm gonna, donor. He might come out looking crazy. Yeah, I don't want that. Oh, he might he might be rare. He might have a good one. Nah, what is it? It's like I feel like it's like sixty forty. You might have a good kid though. If you have four kids, you're going to have at least three with Down syndrome. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man. Everybody's perfect. In the, perfect, bro. I don't, there's no problem with that. But, like, at the same time, like, incest is a thing. So, like, but, like, that's crazy, though. I'll you might sad. have to break up with them because just off that fact, like, yo, we can't really have kids. Yeah. You, might, you might have to. But, like, feel me? Like, if y'all, ain't, if y'all, y'all, if y'all in, the, in the stages of life where y'all not planning on having kids yet, nigga, okay. I'm what is the up. what is the furthest family member if you ever found out you were related that you will be okay with like continually dating if maybe, you fell in love with them? Maybe like a fifth or sixth cousin. Cause that don't that, even freaking count. At fifth that, or sixth. At that point, you just share D, you share like one percent DNA. DNA. Bro, fifth or sixth cousin. That's like me and you. Like you might be my fifth cousin. All right. But like, but like I, I'm saying, I'm saying like cousin, second cousin. How about yeah. second cousin? Nah, that's too close. All right, I'm saying your cousin's cousin, but your co- like. All right, let's say it like this: your cousin, say your mom's, your mom's sisters. Okay, let me not, <laughs> let me not, let me not get too detailed. Mm. Say your cousin, cousin's cousin, but it's from the the the, the side of his family that you're not related. Oh, then I'm good. Yeah, you're cool. So that's fine with you. Yeah, I'm cool. Bro. Okay, because I ain't gonna lie, I ain't gonna lie. I did a DNA test. I thought I did ancestry. I got a fourth cousin. She's bad, bro. You found her. I mean, I, I just looked at my. Oh, I just oh. looked at my. What do you mean, fourth cousin? Like fourth generation cousin? Like uh, on here, she, she they say she my fourth cousin, bro, and she she fine, bro. That's crazy. I'm about to uh, slide on her her in her ancestry DMs, bro. Hey yo, bro. She, she they said we only share one percent DNA. We good, bro. Wow. Oh, that's, <laughs> that's what you gonna slide in with? Yeah, bro. But we, hey, we cu- hey cousin. Yeah, what's up, cousin, bro? Like I don't really know you. You don't know me, bro. She's fine, bro. Wow. You know that happened in my family, right? What that the story you just told? Mm-hmm. What? That, so my uncle, mm-hmm. I don't like I, I I don't know these uncles, but so my uncle, uh, I'm not gonna say his name. My uncle. Yeah. And he had a brother named Uncle Fruit Nut. Oh, you told you told me about Fruit Nut. Oh, uh, uncle, yeah, Uncle Fruit Nut. Yeah. Uncle Fruit Nut's parents was was family. I don't know if, what, what I don't know if they was cousins or, or brothers and sisters. Yeah. But they had they they from Virginia. Uh huh. End up both of them end up moving to Jersey. They met, had They're, sex, had kids. They were cousins. I don't, I don't know if it was cousins. I don't know that. But they I, were related. They were related. They might have been first. If they was cousins. They was first cousins. Oh wow! Like they was they was related, bro. Like Sweet Home Alabama. Yeah. Wow. And like I said, they their fam our families were originally from Virginia. Uh huh. They came to Jersey. And they met. They had kids, not knowing each other. They they met, feel me, was got together, had kids, mm-hmm. went to a family reunion, and then like they were like, oh, how, how you know how you know uh, Betty? That's what you mean. That's my that's my wife. 
the father, the mother of my uh, kids. Ch- kids. Oh wow! No, that's your cousin. That's <laughs> un- that's on Boo That's on Boo daughter. Wow, that must be that must be shocking. That's like that with Jay, like that. I don't know if you ever you ever met Jay's cousin Jeter. I don't know if you mm-hmm. ever met him before. So he so Jeter right? He's related to Jay on both sides, like on his mom's side and her her dad's side. Uh huh. Because Jay's dad's cousin married Jay's mom's sister. Okay. So they're so the family tree goes like this. Yeah, but it ain't. It ain't like, like that. It though. ain't like this. No, though. no, they're not cousin, but like it's just yeah. saying like their family goes like it's like a circle uh-huh. now, like they're intertwined. So it's like all because I was, I was confused with it at first because I remember like because he, he came up the first when I, when me and Jay was dating our first year was dating like in 2019, uh, Jay's grandmother passed away and he mm. came up and that's the first time I met him because he came up to see his grandmother. Yeah. And I was her dad's mom. Yeah. Her yeah her dad's mom, and that was his his grandmother. So I was like, okay. But then he was talking about like, yeah, my grandmother, uh, her, but his mom, wait, but Jay's mom used to live with him in Florida Uh and he used to call her grandmother. But I was like, wait, how does that make sense? Like, how are you related to? And then they explained it to me like, yeah, okay. I'm like, oh, that's kind of crazy. I didn't even really, that's, that's kind of. That's kind of tough. Kind of cool. cool. Like, yeah. oh shit. Like you really like intertwined family. Nah, that was they. They was nah. They was cousins. They was cousins. Was, well, you could tell how they end up. I'm not gonna lie. Uncle, I'm not gonna say his name. Cousin, cousin, cousin Dodo. He's the one. That, he's 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 a little slow. <laughs> I ain't gonna say his, his, his name, but he's he's slow. Yeah, you got a little sweet on my family, you bro. But guess what, Uncle Fruit Nut. I don't gotta tell you. Yeah. I don't gotta tell you how crazy he is because Fruit Nut. His name was Uncle Fruit Nut. What's his real name? Anthony, damn it! <laughs> I got him. <laughs> hey, bro, shout. Oh, uh, yeah, man, that's tough. Uncle Fruit Nut, bro. That's funny, bro. Hey, man, but I remember because, so I remember right when I was a little kid. There was it was funny. There was a my cousin's cousin. Her name was Jaylene, mm-hmm. and I remember when we was little kids. I'm talking like three, four. Like they used to they used to bring us together, say like we had a crush on each other. But I used to be like, is that isn't that my cousin? Mm-hmm. But like it's like it's not like his dad is not related to me. Yeah, his dad is like only related to me because he married my mom's sister. Mm-hmm. So like that doesn't count. Yeah, you know so what I'm saying. But like, cousin. but like if like so would that be so is that second cousin? No, it's like that's your step cousin kind of. Oh, not, step. Not, but like isn't that's technically? But like what is a second cousin? That's what I'm trying to say. Second cousin is like so. Oh, is that like your is okay? Maybe it's like your cousin's your cousin's cousin, kind of. Yeah. No, isn't second cousin? So like, let's say, if my if my first cousin, mm-hmm. nah, how that work? No, second cousin. If your mom, so your mom's sec, your mom's cousin. Yeah. Was that's your second cousin? Oh yeah, or no, no, that's my aunt. No, no, no. My- your mom's sister is your aunt. Your mom's cousin is your second cousin. Oh, really? Yeah. Because your your mom's your mom's sister's kid is your first cousin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your mom's cousin's is my kid second cousin. Is your second cousin. My mom's cousin's kid. Yeah. What about my mom's cousin? Is that you're still your second cousin? They're so my mom's cousin's kid is still my second cousin. Yeah. Oh, okay, makes sense. I didn't really I didn't really know. That's how it worked. And then that cousin now your cousin, your mom's cousin's yeah. cousin is your third cousin, uh, and that's how it works. Okay. Your mom's cousin, cousin, that's how it works. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, that makes a lot more sense. Uh, hey man, you learn something new every day. I really didn't know what that meant for real. Yeah, no, nah, that's how it works. That's tough. That's tough. I'm glad you explained it to me. But oh, I got a would you rather question that kind of goes along with it, right? So would you rather live in a world, live in an upside down world where everything that's bad is good? And mm-hmm. Everything good that's bad. So like, murder is cool. Like it's a it's an anti world that we live yeah. in right now, or live in a world where everyone's gender is switched but yours. First of all, he said it kind of goes with it. That has nothing to do with what we just he talked was talking about. about. He was talking about family. <laughs> has nothing to do with what we just talked about. <laughs> but so like, so you'll be a girl. I'll be a girl. You still be a boy. But like, you look like a girl. Yeah, I'm a woman. Yeah, I'm a woman. My Libby's a boy. Everything is switched. Every gender switched. And I know. So, like... Yes. So, now I know if I'm you, messing with a girl, she used to be a guy. Yeah. But, like, in that universe, it's a girl. It's She's a girl. Just in your in your other universe, uh-huh. he was a boy. 
which one would you rather be? Or be in a world where it's just like the world is, is an anti world where people are killing each other. And it's cool. I might well I'm going to the 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 race with genders. Really? Why would I want to go to a world where where where, where if you 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 shoot me in my face, you get praised for it. Bro, you that means murder is gonna. I'm people gonna murder me every day. That means saying thank you is gonna be a crime. Yeah, or like helping people out, you might go to jail. For That's it. what I'm saying. I help you. I help an old lady cross the street. I'm gonna go to jail for that. So you rather have the chance? You might fall in love with me, cause. Dang, man, you might look good as a girl, bro. I'm saying. No, See, you, you gay. You gay. <laughs> Shit is crazy, bro. I got good personality. You trying to sell me? I'm just, I'm just telling you what you what you I'm might just experience. Saying, you trying to sell me, bro? I got I was telling for, I got good personality. Uh-huh. I'm not ran through. I'm smart. I got two degrees. Uh-huh. I play sports. I'm athletic. Yeah, I'm you trying to make me fall in love with you now? I'm yo. I'm trying to tell you <laughs> what to expect if you go into that universe. It's crazy. Nigga, I'm light riz, skin. You trying to riz me up right now, bro? Light skin with curly hair, bro. It's hard. It's gonna be hard, bro. You trying to riz me up right I'm now? I'm trying to tell you You're what to expect. Fat. You good, bro? <laughs> <laughs> you don't got a big booty, bro. Yo, so but but you cool with now. That, now if, if it was me, you might fall in love with me. I got a big I butt. Fall, I ain't fall in love with you. Bro. I got a big butt, bro. I feel like you ran through, bro. I'm, oh what? Hey yo, come on, bro. <laughs> First of all, I'm not ran through. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a be a classy lady, bro. Don't do nah, that, bro. I'll, I'll be bougie, bro. Nah, I don't, I don't think you go. I, don't, I don't want to fall in love with you, cuz. You're going to fall in love you're with me. You're not my type. I feel like, you're going to be like. Woof, but woof. I feel like you're going to be like them Amazonians, like tall. You Why? Because I'm tall. I'm just, yeah, just going to be 5'11", 5'10". No, I'm going to be like 5'8", 5'9". Nah, you're going to be like 5'11", 5'10". I'm going to be like 5'8", 5'9". I feel like you're going to be like them girls. Like they got curly hair, but it's short. No, I'm not going to have long <laughs> curly <laughs> hair. Why are you hating on my long curly <laughs> hair already, bro? I feel like you I got, like you might... Like, I feel like you go. If I was be, a girl, I'm going to look exactly like my cousin from Rutgers Newark, bro. What is wrong with you? I'm look exactly <laughs> like her, bro. <laughs> I just feel like... I feel like me, though, like... Like I'm, I'm the perfect. I feel like I'll be the perfect girl, bro. Like I'm like. Yo, the, who this your host, bro? <laughs> I'm just, I'm just trying to tell you what to expect. Yo, I'm just trying, to, like I'm preparing you what's gonna happen, bro. You know what I'm saying? Man, I'm, you I'm, knew I'm, I'm gonna I'm I'm look for. I'm, a, I'm if I, in my alternate universe. I'm gonna look for Dergina. Nah, they gonna call me. What's gonna be your girl name? Denise. Denise. I'm gonna look for Denise Walkins and be like, I'm gonna stay away from that nigga, bro. <laughs> Yo, you never know, but like, think about it. we got, we got. I'm a, I'm a podcast, so I'm probably I'm a, gonna be really popular. I'm gonna look for a Tiona, Tiona, Tiona Bowens, Tiona, Bo- Ty, nah. Tiana, Ty, 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 Tiana, Tiana Bowens, Tiana. Nah, t- that she, nah, Tyrone might be, he might be a baddie, but he might be dead tall, like six <laughs> one. Said Tyrone would be a baddie. What are you talking about? <laughs> I was telling yo, I, yo, I think you, UJ, going. I was telling this to Fritz before. I'm, I think UJ gonna be like them girls that like. Like scares you away because they're too aggressive. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? I know. I agree. Though. I agree with <laughs> I'm you. I'm saying, bro. Like, like they just, they just like, like yo, move, bro. Like, 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 like that, nah, bro. bro like, like, come on, you my hold bro. my hand, bro. Hold my hand right now. Like, you mean uh, respuction? <laughs> yeah, bro. <laughs> Not because you fat, because you dominant. Then yeah, you dominant. Like, you just gonna and you always gonna think you right, bro. Like you gonna be annoying as hell, but you gonna be funny. Like you gonna be know what you are talking about. But like I said, like, oh, I don't know. You know, she gonna be that girl that what's that girl? She was like, uh, she was on the porch. She, she was like, I don't like how uh, I don't like your swagger. You oh yeah, my Instagram. I don't like how your swagger. <laughs> no, like, that's crazy. That's Not, that girl. <laughs> Not that girl. Not that girl. That's od. Yeah, so, she's like, I don't like your swag. Like you know your swag. You don't know how to carry yourself. Uh-huh. She's talking to the little kids, right? Yeah, right. Nah, nah, nah not that's that. That's crazy. UJ. Cause I be thinking that girl dyke. But nah, then she be coming dead out. straight, bro. Yeah, I know. That's what I'm saying. Nah, nah that's gold. She smoked blacks. So I don't think. I think UJ going to be. Nah, I'm not even talking about the parents. I'm talking about personality, bro. You're talking Yo, UJ, UJ might be a boss boss woman, though, bro. Like those type nah, of women that's like bro. like very independent, headstrong women that you can't tell them nothing. We getting a little too into this. <laughs> you getting into this, bro. I'm just trying to let you know. I'm what just to saying. I'm looking, I'm looking for the homies, bro. And I'm like, all right, I can't smash the homies, bro. <laughs> Like I know who you, I know who you are, bro. I just gotta be, I gotta be cool with you, bro. Okay. I just gotta be game. I'm telling you, bro. It's gonna be hard, bro. All the all the girls in this world, I could just, I could look for my homies and not smash my homies, bro. <laughs> As girls, bro. You never know. You might just forget. I'm my my name forget. might not be Denise. It might be Danielle. It might all be. All right. I'm looking. For, I'm looking for the Walkins family, bro. <laughs> I'm like, all right, the Walkins family, cool. Can't go over there. The Bowens family, cool. Or oh, all the Donshaws, cool, bro. Dang, bro. <laughs> hey, man. But you wouldn't though. 
I wouldn't smash you. No, not that. <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with this nigga? Bro? <laughs> you would, you wouldn't want to be with me, bro. No, nah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be cool with you, bro. Like, you but like, like if you didn't know it was me, but you just like met me as like. Oh no, do the face shit right now, like do the. Uh... I have a picture. No, no, but like think, just think about me <laughs> nigga, as a woman. Nigga, nigga already looked at it. <laughs> do, the, do the, do the gender swap thing on the, on the, on the AI apps. I'm, I'm, we're gonna do like. this after this. Let me see what you and look like. And we're gonna like, talk bro. about it. But I'm just saying, just picture me as a woman, just with my personality. Uh huh. Would you? Oh yeah, but I'll treat you bad, bro. Oh, you would do me dirty. You do you dirty, bro. You too, <laughs> you're gonna be too nice. I can take advantage of you, bro. <laughs> you cheat on me, cuz? Yeah, you're gonna take me back, bro. Wow, that's crazy. That's you actually... might be my favorite, bro. Like you oh, <laughs> this that's... is Miss Reliable over here, bro. <laughs> that's crazy and sick. I'm gonna go lie. Oh, bro. Let's, let's get out, let's get off this pot, this um topic before we get we'll a little bit use too. You, bro. <laughs> this man say he's gonna use me is crazy. So, do you want to do the drafting game first, the or do draft. you want to guess? No, the guess. I want to play that. You want to guess? All right. So, I have a list of 10 people, and Corey is going to uh, guess who caught the least amount of bodies amongst these 10 people. Mm -hmm. So, how he's going to do, he's going to eliminate people, and every person he eliminates that is not the least, he gets a point. But if he eliminates the person that has the least, he loses. All mm -hmm. right? And I'm going to give him the list right now, and I'm going to let him pick. And just go along the list and who you think. Oh wow! I got a list of ten people for you. I'm gonna I'm gonna name the people out for you, people. So I got, so I got John Wick, Mike Lowry from Bad Boys, Genghis Khan, Joker, SpongeBob, Tony Stark, Master Chief, Jeffrey Dahmer, Wolverine, Ted Bundy, and Ghostface. So out of all these people, who caught the least amount of bodies? All right, I'm already I'm I'm knocking off. Genghis Khan. Okay, Genghis Khan. Genghis That's Khan. one point. Um, it's pretty hard, cause yeah, this is this is this is hard. This, this list is hard. I'm gonna knock off. I'm gonna knock off John Wick. Okay, okay. You're at John Wick four fifteen. Four fifteen. Yeah. Four. How many people Genghis Khan kids? Uh, four, million. four million or forty million. Forty million. Right. Yeah, my fault. So I already know Dahmer got like thirty. 30 something I think Dahmer got Spongebob <laughs> I feel like Spongebob got some niggas on his belt <laughs> <laughs> do you wanna um, get keep looking bro I'm gonna go oh Wolverine yep knocking Wolf him off Wolverine 20 that's 20k I to say I Wolverine, know Wolverine got 20k Wolverine be be, be, be sniping dudes damn yeah. do Master Chief kill people or oh, it's like People, aliens, whatever. Okay, Master Chief, knock him off. Master Chief, twenty five hundred. Okay. Don't forget Tony Stark. I mean Iron Man. Yeah, of course, man. Just making so, sure. Yeah. So, I already seen the first Avengers knocking off Tony Stark. Tony Stark, seventy five thousand. Oh, hold on. Why is he still on his list? Get Joker out of here. Joker, six seventy, six hundred seventy people. So you got Mike Lowry, SpongeBob. Jeffrey, I, should knock him, I should wipe him off as I'm as I'm doing it. Yeah. So I got I You got, got Ghostface, Ted Bundy, Jeffrey Dahmer, SpongeBob, and Mike Lowry. Wait, let me. I got I knocked Joker off. Mm -hmm. I knocked John Wick off. Yep. I knocked Master Chief off. Mm-hmm. I knocked Wolverine off. Yeah. I knocked Tony Stark off. Yep. Oh, move up a little closer court, my fault. Oh my bad. There you go. So now I'm stuck between all the serial killers because mm -hmm. Joe's face is technically a serial killer. Yep. Oh, man. I feel like one of the serial killers is it. I'm not going to lie. You still got knockoff. You got, you're at one, two, three, four, five, six points right now. You're doing pretty good. I'm a knockoff Bundy. Bundy? Yeah. Okay. Bundy got 30. 30 bodies. All right. You're doing good. You're you cooking up right now, Core. I know Dahmer got a lot. Did you take out SpongeBob? I didn't take out SpongeBob okay. yet. I think my last two is going to be SpongeBob and like Mike Lowry. But I feel like you did that on purpose. You did that on purpose. And I think it's one of these, I think it's one of these serial killers. Hey, man. You cooking up right now. I watched the Bad Boys. I watched the, the first two, mm -hmm. first three. Yeah. Mike Lowry got some bodies on him. Mm-hmm. Killed a lot of niggas. 
Um, well, Ghostface counts all the ghost faces, right? Yep. Ghostface. 50 bodies. So now you got Dahmer, SpongeBob, and Mike Lowry. Ain't no way Dahmer ain't got, got, got less bodies than SpongeBob and Mike Lowry. I feel like he killed a lot <laughs> of niggas, though. You got to think, bro. You go, you're cooking, core. You're really almost there, bro. You're cooking up, bro. Mike Lowry. Mike, that, yo, you cooking 52. Mike Lowry got 52 bodies? He got 52 bodies, bro. So now it's between SpongeBob and... And Jeffrey Dahmer. No way. <laughs> SpongeBob killed more niggas than Jeffrey. <laughs> no way. <laughs> I'm trying to think. SpongeBob killed niggas, bro? You just got to think about what SpongeBob does, bro. SpongeBob don't kill people, bro. <laughs> yeah. You did that on purpose, bro. SpongeBob <laughs> don't kill niggas, bro. Hey, man. SpongeBob killed more than 30 niggas? I don't know, bro. Nah, I'm trying. I'm, I watch SpongeBob. When did he kill niggas? <laughs> when did he do something that actually this? He don't accidentally kill. I guess but they still alive though. They don't really die. Yo, you got you are about the clean sweep, bro. Oh my god! First try. You did this on purpose, bro. <laughs> I made this one hard. Ain't no way it's Dahmer, bro. It's no way. It's no way Dahmer is Just give the, me a guess, bro. I can't. <laughs> you got it, bro. You did this on purpose, but I'm not going to play into your game. You're trying to psych me out. <laughs> so I'm going to wipe off Jeffrey Dahmer. You're going to wipe off Jeffrey Dahmer? I'm wrong. Is, you, wait, you're going to wipe off Jeffrey I'll, Dahmer? He's off the list. SpongeBob's the last nigga. You almost had it, Core. Jeffrey Dahmer had 17 bodies. And SpongeBob has... 113. Who does SpongeBob kill? You know how many car crashes he gets into? You got to think about it. Those people be getting murdered because <laughs> SpongeBob be bur- like he be killing people on the low ski. I knew it was, I knew that was a curveball. You was a that was good though, Corey. You had that nine, a, bro. That was a curveball for a reason. Bro. I thought you was going to get caught with Mike Lowry, bro. Because in the movie, he like he be murking hella people. That's what I'm saying. I know he be killing people. But when I see only 52, I'm like, dang, that's it? I seen the new Bad Boys, too. That's why I got I thought about this. That was pretty good. You think you should watch the Bad Boys? I'm, I am. I plan on watching it. What is it, Bad Boys? Is it Bad Boys for Life or Bad Boys? Nah, what? Bad Boys for Life. Bad Boys Forever? No, no. <laughs> Libby, you, you remember what the Bad Boys movie's called? Forever, right? Bad Boys Ride or Die, oh. yeah. There you go. I knew, I, I knew you did that on purpose. Bro. That was good though, Core. That was good. I'm, I'm, I'm actually surprised, but freaking Fritz, yo. I talk about Fritz later, but yo, we I'm got. Bad, I ain't just, I ain't just go with my gut and do, and go SpongeBob. You almost, you almost had a clean slate, cause that's tough. That's tough. But we got one last game before we end the podcast, people. We got drafting warriors with ten dollars. Mm-hmm. So me and Corey are gonna draft people to fight in a battle. To the death. And we're going to see who won. Let us know who you think will win. So f- to start off, we got to draft our person, right? So for $5, we have Batman. $4, Master Chief. $3, Prime John Jones. $2, Wilt Chamberlain. $1, Caitlin Clark. You have $10 to spend. And this is my body? No, this is the person that is fighting. So say you're betting money on this person to fight my uh-huh. person. And what, Batman's $5? Batman's $5. And you said John Jones is what? Three dollars. And Matthew Chief is four? Yep. John Jones is a whip ass. Mm. What's you, like, you can't tell me the other categories, right? Nope. Oh man. Batman whip ass too though. Yeah. Only got ten dollars, only got fifteen. Nope. Ten dollars. How, how many categories? Uh I can't tell you that. Mm. <laughs> I'm going to go Batman still. Batman for five? Yeah. I bet. I'm going to take Master Chief for $4. Because Master <laughs> Chief, I be forget. Like, I really didn't know he was seven foot, bro. Yeah. That man's like, he's like, think of, he's a super soldier. Like, he got the speed strength. So, I'm going to take Master Chief. Now, next category, we are going with our weapon of choice. It's for $5, you get Thor's hammer, $4, a ray gun from Call of Duty, $3, a semi-auto RPG. Mm-hmm. So, I'm talking about that junk guy, as much ammo as possible. Two dollars a sword and one dollar spear gun. I'll take my. I'll take the RPG. RPG. Okay, I bet. So okay. now you got two dollars left. Yeah. I'm going to take the ray gun. 
So you got you got two dollars. I got two dollars left too. So now we're gonna choose our item. So we have invisibility suit for five dollars. We have invisibility suit, four dollars web shooters, three dollars jetpack, two dollars mermaid man's belt, or one dollar smoke grenades. What does mermaid man's belt do? I'm picking. Uh, whatever you pick, I gotta pick. I, we can only get one or two, bro. Wait, what does it do? I mean, if you watch SpongeBob, you know what that thing do. Oh, Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy? Yes. Oh, yeah. Let me get Mermaid Man. Yeah, God let me get that. Dang it. I take this. Bro, you, I wanted that Mermaid Man's you belt, You got fried. You should have just, you should have just lied to me just now. Nah, I feel, I was I, too I nice. You, bro, I, thought, I thought you said, I thought you said Aquaman. That's why I was like, what the hell do Aquaman has? A, he has a belt? Nah, Mermaid Man yeah, belt nah, is cheese, bro. That man, them man go, guys go luku, bro. Yeah, yeah, let me get the belt. I think I'm still killing you, though. I think... Who, nah, I got Batman instead of the utility belt. Batman, like... I got the Mermaid Man belt? First of all, Batman, like, 5'11", 6 foot. Master Chief, 7 foot tower, and he a, and he a super soldier. So he's, like, Captain America, but so taller. on Batman. Batman, like, 6'4", bro. He's not 6'4". That's Superman, 6'4". Batman's shorter than yeah, Superman. Man. Batman's, like, 6 foot. He's not he's that He's 6'2", bro. They gassing him he's up. 6'2", bro. 6'1". I just seen John Morant dunk on Wimby, bro. What that mean? This Batman don't got bounce like that. Yes, he do. No, he don't, bro. I'm telling you, Master Chief going to whip his... Master Chief fight big-ass aliens hand-to-hand. So, so do Batman. Nah, Batman, be he throws batarangs at him and then runs away. Nah, he he, he, he fought Superman and won. I got a ray gun on me. Uh, you, what gun I got? You got a, you got a semi-auto RPG. Yeah, forget your ray gun, bro. Bro, you know what I that always, ray gun does? You know, I, in Call of Duty Zombies, I always, I ignored, I did not, never took the ray gun, bro. Because you suck. I need, No, don't suck, bro. That ray gun just get in the way, bro. What do you mean getting away? It's not good, bro. You don't think it's good enough? No. Nah. Maybe you're not good enough. No. I always did numbers with, with a regular gun rather than a what, what, what was your highest round you went up to? <sighs> oh, what's, what was that map? Um... Come on. It was one of those downloadable it was one I think it came with the DLC. Black Ops one. Yeah, hold on. I gotta get this map before I before Look at him. He sucks. Nah. I'd be up a- I went to level I went to level uh 150 on this map. Oh damn, he might have beat me out. I, I think I went to like level like hundred or ninety. 150 on this map, me and my cousin, bro. What's this map? How long it took y'all? We was on the game all night, bro. <laughs> we was on the game all night. I think I think we lost because we got t- like, we got tired. Like, yeah. We didn't like we didn't need to die. We was like, yo, it's time to go to bed. Bro. I remember it was me, Jordan, Ish when I first got like Call of Duty. Like, um, what was the Call of Duty that was in twenty twenty that we was playing all the time? Cold War. We was playing uh zombies. We played for like four or five hours. Bro. I, know, I haven't played zombies since the. I'm lying. I played the second Black Ops Two Zombies, but I ain't played zombies. The Black Ops Two Zombies, I ain't played. Really. I think, yo, people, let me know in the comments who you think won, bro. I think my team probably won, bro. Are you I'm still trying to look for it? I'm, I'm going to find this map because I went, I used to go stupid on this map. What the hell, bro? Was it Factory? What Call of Duty was it from? The first one. Oh, what, Black Ops 1? Black Ops 1. It was in the Resurrection. Yeah, it was in the Resurrection. It might have been Factory. Mm. Nah, hold on. I got, wait, we're not finishing this pod till I find out exactly what map I played on. I hope we do. I'm sorry, Libby. He's gonna give you twenty dollars. Yeah, are you gonna? F- we owe a fan twenty dollars. I know you do. Do you want? Can Please. I? End, can I end this pod? No. I'm gonna end this pod. No, not yet. Not yet. Please, oh. please, please. Yo, let me get this. Let me get this. How long is it gonna take, cuz? Let me get this. Yo, what is wrong with you? Let me get this, please, please. I need it, bro. Go ahead. I'm waiting for you. I'm giving you what? I'm I'm cutting this part out, by the way. Oh yeah, why would you get me lo- searching? Hmm? Why would you get me searching? I don't know. It was factory. Yup, factory. Thank God. Thank the heaven. But all right. Thank y'all again for tuning in to another No Regulars podcast, episode number 146. I'm your host. Why am I saying it like we began? Damn, it's two o'clock in the morning. I'm tired as hell. Before we end the podcast, we need to shout out everybody on our Patreon. If you haven't subscribed to our Patreon, if you want more bonus content. Bonus videos. Subscribe to our Patreon. We either got three dollars tier, five dollars tier, ten dollars tier, and I'm telling y'all, we got we got at least seven episodes, new exclusive episodes on there. We're recording another one tomorrow. Freaking, we're gonna have mukbang channels this summer. We're gonna be posting a lot on Patreon, so get tuned now, boy, before we start upping the prices. You know what I'm saying? But I want to shout out to everybody. We're gonna first shout out the free subscribers. We got Jalen Strong, Rob Quash, Cal, Cal, Nuh, Dashiel. Isabel Graham, Leek, DJ Willis, 
Ramon Padilla, Alyssa Smith, Laquell Ingram. Shout out to Laquell Ingram because we always say, like, that's a crazy ass name. Where he from? Mm-hmm. He DM'd me on Instagram. He from Harlem, bro. Oh, wow. What's up? Me and Greek, bro. That's what I'm saying. Pull up, bro. Shout out to you, man. Thank you for subscribing to the Patreon. Uh, Tyrone Bowens, Corey Petty, he right here. King Fry and Tamia. And now we got our second round stairs, our $5 tier people. We got DJ Khalid, Lilin Poole, and Muhammad. And you got to give a round of applause. We got our first $10 tier member, first lottery draft pick. We going to shout out Tavon, Co- Tavon Cox. Pause. Pause. Hey, yo. If it's Trayvon, I think they autocorrect. I think it's Tavon Cox. Thank you for subscribing for $10. Don't worry. Since you are a part of $10 tier, you get one bonus episode a month that all the other tiers don't get. So you're going to get that this month. Tune in for to that. You know what I'm saying? And yeah, you got anything else you want to talk about, Corey? Man, let's go next, bro. Bing bong, bro. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, bro. Nixon four, bro. We different than regular no records, man. Gangsta. I'm going to go get it. I'm going to go get it. I'm going to go get it.